start of the 1965 grand final. Umpire Jeff Crouch in control. St Kilda wearing the white shorts. Dittrich is up, gets the first knockdown, comes to ground. Epis goes in hard for a kick, goes out onto the flank, a chance for St Kilda. They get the, the ball forward through Cross. Cross drives for it, but there's Shelton coming out from centre half back to take the first mark of the game in defence for the Dons. Bluey Shelton from centre half back drives Essendon forward with a long spiral punt towards centre half forward. Dittrich is up from behind, can't bring the ball down, taken by Cross. Cross drives the ball out onto the half forward flank or towards the flank and it goes out of bounds on the centre wing. Boundary throw in. 10 is Dittrich, 24 McKenzie. Essendon win the tap through McKenzie. Going towards Johnson. Johnson is caught with the ball. Players allowed to go on a kick off the ground. Sends the ball forward. Here's a chance for Roland. He overruns the ball. Kicked off the ground by Berth and out of bounds once more. Essendon's uh, half forward line. Another boundary throw in. 34 Sampson. 10 is Ditterich. Sampson wins the knock knockdown. Comes to the ground again. Picked up by Neil. Neil tries to barge his way through. Is tackled. Umpire Crouch on the spot. It's picked up and kicked uh, towards the line and eventually goes across the line and out of bounds. Half forward right for Essendon. No score on the board for either side. There's McKenzie going with uh, Dittrich this time. The tap comes down. It's picked up by Reed, the uh, St Kilda winger. He drives it towards the uh, outer wing position where the ball's gone out of play, but it's a free kick behind the play as uh, the Essendon player has been spoken to there, Eppis. And Jimmy Reed of St Kilda will take the free kick. Reed to take the free, brings the ball up towards St Kilda's left half forward flank. There's Cooper going for it, couldn't hold the ball. Chance here for St Kilda to break clear with it. They're going to be penalised for holding the ball, and the free kick is going to Jack Clark. Clark to take the free for uh, Esther. Dummies round the man on the mark, boots the ball towards centre half forward, straight up the hands though of the St Kilda, McMaster Smith, he couldn't control the ball, here's a chance for the Knights, spoiling one another, as the ball picked up by McMaster Smith, driven into the pocket, here's Morrow going for it, this judges the flight of the ball though, it hits the ground, picked up by Gerlach, Gerlach putting his boot to it, in comes Baldock, Baldock's going to have a shot for goal, he boots it right into the hands of Bluey Shelton. Shot and marking right in the goal square. His kick's a bad one. Grabbed along the ground. Chance here for Pryor to pick up the ball. Does so. Gathered in that by Reed though. Reed drives the ball forward. There's Cooper going for it. Couldn't hold the mark. Comes for it again. Lines it up. Shoots for goal. He's off the line though. And it's out of play. Out of play to be thrown in on St Kilda's right full forward position. St Kilda bidding for their first ever premiership. Morrow is up high, the ball comes towards McKenzie, he palms it towards the line, and it's out of bounds before Burt can get to it. Another boundary throw in, right in the teeth of goal for St Kilt. Up high is Morrow again, comes down to the ground, Griffiths is grabbed, Shelton goes in hard, the ball comes out towards McKenzie, he gets it to Mitchell, Mitchell is flattened as he gets rid of the ball, play goes on towards the half forward area for St Kilda, the bounce of the ball goes away, Eppis and Pryor backing each other up well, Eppis comes out with the ball, hand pass to Pryor is good football, and Essendon drive the ball towards the centre wing, Gosper going in there for Essendon, oh great pass by Sarah Kosky. came in nicely, judged the ball well, and pulled down the mark, Sarah Kosky goes on quickly with play, driving the ball towards centre half forward, up high is Bullock, the ball comes over the back of the pack to Shelton, Shelton with the left foot, drives it in towards the centre of the ground, overruns the ball, chance for uh, Sinman who picks up, gets the ball on his left foot, a hurried kick, finds the ball out near Reed. Reed overruns the ball, Eppis gets the ball to Fraser, Fraser is in trouble, hand passes to Clark, Clark with the left foot, shoots it forward, up towards Sampson, the ball punched away from that player, comes to ground, kick further afield, here's Blue coming through hard for Essendon, kicks the ball along the ground once more, a hand pass uh, puts Essendon in trouble, picked up and uh, Blue is down, but he gets the ball forward and the mark is taken for Essendon by Johnson coming in from the half forward flank. Now Johnson is well within scoring range, he is 45 yards out and directly in front. Chance for the first score of the game, Johnson's torpedo punt is off the line and there's the first score, a behind to Essendon kicked at the four and a half minute mark in the first quarter. Plenty of pace and plenty of action already in this game. Both sides settle down reasonably well. Some players a bit over anxious, but uh, generally the standard of play quite good even in these first few moments. Those comments from Roy Wright, dual Brownlow medalist, former great Richmond Ruckman, as 
we find Murray about to put the ball into play. Boots it out onto the far side of the ground. Chance here for St Kilda to mark the ball. Roland goes for it there. Couldn't hold it. Hits the ground. Picked up by Johnston. He immediately drives the ball into the forward pocket. Here's Hanson flying to the ball. It's knocked away though. And out of play to be thrown in about 25 yards around from the right hand behind post with um, Essendon in the attack. That kicking with the breeze in the first quarter. Ruckman go for it. Dittrich knocking the ball down. He was interfered with though by McKenzie in the back and he'll take the free kick for St Kilda. Carl Dittrich, the 19 year old St Kilda Ruckman and a grand player for them this year. There's his kick. Oh, it's a good one against the breeze too. Out on the far side of the ground. They set themselves for it. Bert tried to grab the ball. Couldn't hold it. Kicked along the ground. There's Jack Clark moving to it. He's beaten for pace though. As St Kilda get a hold of it. Send it down to Baldock. It's knocked away. Picked up by Pryor. Good defence by this young player for uh, Essendon. Drives the ball forward. And there's Sir Kofsky getting in front to take a timely mark. Only young, this fellow. 19 year old. One of uh, four 19-year-old players in the St Kilda side. He drives the ball forward towards Cooper. It's knocked away, picked up by Essendon. Away they go into attack. They're sure trying to manoeuvre for the ball. Couldn't quite hold it. Hits the ground. In come the defenders. Shaw still trying to uh, control the ball. Has been held when not in possession. And will take the free for Essendon. Umpire Jack Crouch in charge of this game today. This is his second uh, grand final. He umpired the grand final in 1963. Now, Shaw could get it through from here. He's not a bad kick, this fellow. There's the shot at goal. It's falling a little bit short. Roger Head, number one, goes to the ball. There's Burt pouncing on it for Essendon. Sends a hand pass forward. It's smothered, though, very smartly by St Kilda. Head gets hold of the ball, drives it clear of the danger zone. It's coming out onto the wing position. We're a lovely mark taken here by... Uh, and Kilda. They send the ball further afield where Ross Smith gets hold of the ball now. Drives it up onto the right half forward flank. The ball is knocked away here. Comes close to the boundary line. Beats uh, Ian Stewart and is out of play to be thrown in midfield on the member stand side. Essendon, one behind, one point. St Kilda yet the score. There's Dittrich getting the tap. It's snapped up by Davis, though. Davis has grabbed, loses possession of the ball. In comes Shelton. He loses possession. A chance here for St Kilda. The ball picked up for them here nicely by Kennedy. Drives it right up into the scoring zone. And there's a magnificent mark taken by Morrow. Morrow with a chance now to put St Kilda's first six-pointer on the board. That was a lovely kick by Kennedy. Beautifully to position, and Morrow has done the, the rest by way of the mark. Can he put it through? Let's wait and see. He's on a fairly acute angle. Experienced player hits the post. Well, a big sigh came over the St Kilda supporters as Morrow's shot for goal hit the post, and the scores are level after eight minutes of play in the first quarter. Both teams have one behind on the board. Greg Brown, the Essendon fullback, kicks out. His drop kick goes up the centre of the ground looking for Shelton. Shelton is up there. Can't get a hand to the ball. Comes down towards Morrow. Here's a chance for Stewart going in for St Kilda. Balks nicely around onto his left foot. Drives the ball out into the forward pocket. Interference to an Essendon player out there in Gosper. The ball is allowed to come to the ground. Play on, says the umpire. Kick off the ground goes Essendon's way out towards Eppis. Eppis going in, battles with Cooper. Cooper goes in hard. The ball's still in play, close to the boundary line. Eppis goes in strongly once again, but the ball's across the line and out of bounds. But a free kick has been awarded to Reed off St Kilda for a push in the back. Reed kicks in towards the forward pocket. Shelton setting himself for the mark. And it's pulled down by Charlie Payne. Payne resting in the back pocket to turn St Kilda out. Payne favours the punt kick back towards the centre of the ground. Sampson is there, takes the mark, well judged. Positioned himself well in front of Morrow for that mark. This is Sampson on the defensive side of centre. His kick is not a good one, however. It lands the ball up towards centre half forward. Sprays are going after the ball, gets it out to Johnson. Johnson's pass is a beautiful one for Fordham, but Fordham a long way out of goal on the half-forward flank. St Gilda one behind, Essendon one behind. Fordham to put the ball right up into the scoring zone. Favours the spiral punt, covering a lot of distance, right up towards the square. Almost marked by Fraser, but touched through for a behind. Essendon two behinds, St Gilda one, and they've been playing nine and a half minutes into the first quarter. Bob Murray just coming down to uh, put the ball into play. 
a terrific atmosphere, colossal tension in the early stages of this grand final. Essendon bidding for their 12th premiership, St Kilda their first. Murray's going to favour the outer side again. There's his uh, kick, not a bad punt kick either. There's Sampson setting himself for the mark. Couldn't quite hold it though, hits the ground. Chance here for sure. He gets hold of the ball, gets it across, where it's picked up by Essendon, driven right up in front of the goal. There's Fordham going through it. It's knocked away from him. Oh, Bert comes onto the ball. Bert in trouble though, and the ball is kicked out of play by St Kilda. Good defence there by them. They're not giving the uh, St Kilda forwards much latitude. They're playing it very close, close checking in the early stages of the game. Essendon kicking with the breeze in the first quarter. Here the ruck's going for it. Morrow and Sampson. Morrow gets the tap from behind. This time in comes Gosper trying to pick up the ball. Couldn't do so. It's picked up by Griffiths of St Kilda. Puts his boot to it. Sends it straight out of play. The ball to be thrown in half forward left with Essendon in the attack. They're kicking towards the punt road end. There's Samson and Morrow doing battle again. Samson brings it from behind this time. Smith pounces on the ball for St Kilda. Comes out where McMaster Smith kicks it off the ground. There's Reed racing for the ball with Eppis. Reed in front, knocks the ball forward and out of play to be thrown in on Essendon's right half forward position. The Dons have two behinds on the board. St Kilda one after about 11 minutes of play in the first quarter. The ruck battles up far high. Gets the ball down towards the shore. There's Fraser coming across the front from centre half forward, across the front of the pack to take a well judged mark. Shaw is on the ground, about 10 yards behind Fraser. Having kicked that ball, he uh, immediately fell to the ground. It is in the hands of trainers. There's something wrong with his leg. Meantime, Fraser's kick goes goalwards. It's offline, however, and a behind only is the result. David Shaw on the ground in obviously a great deal of pain. His left or his right thigh, it seems to be uh, receiving the attention. And that would be a sad blow for Essendon so early in the game. Essendon three behinds, St Kilda one. Murray putting the ball into play. There's the kick onto the outer side of the ground again. Samson coming from behind, knocks the ball clear. Picked up here by Fraser. Fraser backed up by Burke. Burke caught with the ball, ridden into the ground and will be painted. The free kick to go to St Kilda will be taken by Ross Smith. Smith immediately goes on with play. Going through the outer ground position. Chance here for Payne who has come onto the ball for Essendon to drive that forward. He does so. There's Neil knocking the ball away. It comes to Burt though. Clever loses it. Lines it up. Shoots for goal. But he's offline with a shot. As they did last week. Essendon are off target in the early stages of the game. They have uh, four behinds on the board. Two St Kilda's one. Maybe a little bit of tension. Players not yet steadied and uh, firing at goal without setting themselves before kick. Murray it is who drives off this time with a drop kick and it's easily marked by Samson who's brought to the ground by Morrow and uh, players just uh, a little over anxious out there at the moment. Umpire Crouch right on the spot. Samson to put Essendon right into attack. Well, long, high torpedo punt kick going offline however and another behind is on the board to Essendon that's their fifth and St Kilda have one on the board five points to one after 13 minutes of play in the first quarter this could prove very costly for Essendon uh, they have the advantage of quite a strong breeze and inaccurate kicking is certainly going to make their task harder in the second term Murray number six for St Kilda former association player about to put the ball into play again oh it's not a good drop kick Bert went for it couldn't quite hold it picked up by Samson in the meantime the whistle is gone umpire Crouch moves in and it's a free to the Dons to be taken by Johnny Burt pulled round the shoulder he's got a lead here sends the ball forward to Samson all on his own Morrow left uh, Samson there just for the moment and Burt was quick to sum up the situation and a beautiful pass as usual has found Samson this is Samson's third kick. He's going to have a shot at goal, a long one, a uh, little bit offline again, I think. Yes, the Dons just can't score goals. That's the second behind uh, kick by Samson. There he is, number 34 of Essendon. And the Dons tally of behinds mount in the first quarter. Six behinds, two St Kilda, one. Murray kicks off, favours the punt kick this time, a much better kick, covering a lot more distance. Samson is up from behind. Punches the ball towards the ground. Johnson goes in there. So does Burt. Burt is well shepherded. Morrow is there after, after Burt. Burt is brought down. 
but the ball has gone off the hands of players and out of bounds for a boundary throw in. Ball listened and at the tap down comes to Fraser. Quick hand pass back to Burt. Burt is bumped as he kicks. The ball goes across towards McMaster Smith and he's in there to take the mark and uh, seems to have injured his face as he came down. But uh, the little fellow looks all right. You can see at the there seems to be a little bit of blood coming from his nose, but no doubt he'll uh, recover sufficiently to kick this one well down the field. Bruce McMaster-Smith from centre-half back. A lovely kick for a little fellow looking for Cross and Davis, but it's Davis behind who pulls down the nice mark for Essendon, almost in the centre of the ground. Barry Davis. Drop kick is a funny looking one, but it lands in short towards Gosper. He can't mark the ball. Umpire Crouch says play on. Holding the man is the decision. Sinman it is of St Kilda to take the free kick. This is Ian Sinman, the St Kilda centre half back. Drop kicks the ball out onto the wing. Davis and Cross doing battle once again. Davis wins in the race to the ball. Forced a hand pass with the left hand, it goes to Baldock. And the cheers go up immediately as Baldock handles the ball. Kicks towards Hal over the back, couldn't quite pull it in, and Essendon get away from McKenzie. Strong defence by him, lands it back in the centre, but there's Ian Stewart of St Kilda to take the mark all on his own. Yeah, Stewart in the centre, a lovely kick of the ball, the 1965 Brownlow medalist, and we'll watch with interest what he does with this one. It's a drop kick up towards the flank, looking for Howell again. Howell springs from behind, the ball comes down to be taken by Pryor of Essendon. Out there on his own is the elusive Mitchell, and Mitchell marks on the centre wing for the Don. Mitchell having a chance to put Essendon in attack goes back now. There's his kick looking for Fordham. Fordham leading way out in front of Murray. He's got the ball. He screws around onto his left foot. Dummies walks nicely. Drives the ball right up in front of goal. There's Shaw and Fraser setting themselves for the mark. Fraser just failing to hold it. It's on the ground. There's St Kilda coming in. Good defensive play as head comes to the ball here. Gathers it in nicely. Clears it away. And a beautiful pass finds my bastard. He's all on his own. He's going downfield. There's his kick now looking for Baldock. Baldock's going to have three opponents against him. It's knocked away. He comes to the ball, but it's forced out of play by uh, Payne. Beautiful play there by St Kilda, set up by a splendid a piece of uh, exhibition of uh, back play by head. Ball into play now. Dittrich goes high. Baldock chips in again. Mercurial, this fellow, has got too much pace for Shelton. Shelton has shepherded off by Kennedy. Baldock lines the goal up. It's a long shot, falling short, and forced through for a behind to St Kilda. St Kilda so far have matched Essendon in pace. No two ways about that. But, Roy, a, a comment from you. I think too many St Kilda players are <laughs> flying for the ball together in attack. Particularly in their forward line, Ken. They're not giving Howell any opportunity or any room to move in. Brown, the Essendon fullback, kicks out towards Dittrich. Dittrich couldn't quite hold it over the back of the pack, but he's been awarded the mark. Dittrich goes on quickly with play. There'll be a free kick against St Kilda. Probably, umpire Crouch saying that... Uh, he was, Clark was shepherded on the mark, and it's Clark's free kick. It was against Crostick. Umpires have been particularly severe on this type of infringement in the latter part of the season, and Jack Clark, the former Essendon captain, to take the free kick for Essendon with Cross on the mark. Clark favours the punt kick towards centre-half forward. It's all St Kilda, and the mark is pulled down in defence for them by Griffiths. No, it's Stewart. Stewart with the left boot towards centre half forward looking for Baldock over the back almost pulled in by Kennedy Kennedy gets the ball to Baldock Baldock goes forward a short pass to Howe and Howe obviously St Kilda's method of attack if they persist in this they certainly should get results but if they persist in shooting the ball up high and all players playing together they could be in trouble Burton Howe 35 yards out kicks the drop punt Offline, a behind only is the result. Nine straight behinds by both teams. Six to Essendon and three to St Kilda. They've been playing 19 minutes in the first quarter. This uh, fresh southerly breeze seems to be upsetting the judgment of players when they're shooting for goal. Uh, it's uh, a variable type of breeze. It freshens occasionally. And uh, I think this is perhaps one of the main reasons associated with the fact that uh, both these uh, teams are playing under terrific tension. Now, here's Brown about to put the ball into play. Oh, it's a magnificent drop kick. Covers almost to the centre of the ground. They fly for it there. The ball's knocked away by Dittrich. 
Here's a chance for Bluey Shelton gets hold of the ball. His kick is smothered. In comes Bulldog again. He's clever. Mercurial. Dummies. Is caught with the ball. Now he gets breaks clear. Beautiful play by Bulldog. Magnificent football. Gets the ball out towards Stewart, who has broken into the half-forward flank for St Kilda. There's Stewart going back. A beautiful kick, sending the ball into the scoring zone. And the mark is taken here by Powell coming well out from full forward. <coughs> Bulldog five kicks so far. As Howe comes in, there's his kick right up in front of goal. Morrow sets himself for it. But it's touched and going through, and yet another behind is recorded. St Kilda move on to four behinds, four points. The Dons are six behind, six points. And we've had 20 minutes of play in the first quarter. Brown to kick out for Essendon once again and put the ball into play. And what a magnificent kick his last effort was. Comes to the point of the square, doesn't cover quite as much distance this time, going out towards the flank. Cooper is behind the pack, has been awarded the mark by umpire Crouch. Mackenzie is hanging on, they're doing a barn dance out there, but it's Cooper's mark. Cooper coming in to put St Kilda back into attack. His drop kick is a superb one. Towards Morrow, Morrow behind, can't quite drag it in. Howell coming through, loses the run of the ball. Picked up by Rowland, Rowland kicks high into the air. And behind only is the result. Essendon six behinds, and St Kilda now catching them five behinds. One point the difference, 21 minutes of play gone in the first quarter. Well, opportunities are going begging on both sides. As Greg Brown is about to put the ball into play. A capacity crowd here in the vicinity of 100,000 as Brown favours the outer side of the ground. There's his drop kick, another magnificent one covering about 60 yards. Dittrick flying high for the ball, gets right into the back of a, uh, an Essendon player, and he'll get the free kick. McKenzie to take the free. There's his kick now towards the centre of the ground. It's gathered in very smartly by Reed of St Kilda. Drives the ball to Baldock. Baldock gets hold of it, shoots it forward. There's Morrow setting himself to the mark. It's dropped away, though by Payne, onto the ground it comes, in come Essendon through Greg Brown, he's tackled, the tackle was high, around his neck and shoulder, and Brown will take the free kick for the Dons. Brown to take the free, in the last line of defence. Looks like Gerlach in trouble, Ken. Yes, Gerlach, uh, with a head injury there, probably a clash of heads somewhere along the line, in the meantime, Let's have a look at uh, Brown. There's his kick off the side of the boot a little bit. There should be a St Kilda mark here. No, it wasn't held. Ball hits the ground. In comes St Kilda through Kennedy. He's broken away. He's going to line it up from a long way out, but he's way off target. And I think it's a point only. And so the scores are level after 23 minutes of play in the first quarter. Six behinds to both sides. The, the crowd, the tremendous atmosphere and tension. The crowd is a continual murmur right round the ground. Gospel, we notice, has come down from the wing to occupy the back pocket while Gerlach is being attended to. Meantime, it, the ball comes to Kennedy. Kennedy hand passes out into the open. Here's Baldock on his own. Lines it up with the left foot. Goes for goal. And it's there. Left goal. After 24 minutes, and St Kilda go to a six-point lead. One goal, 6-12, leading Essendon six behind straight. And there's Darrell Baldock, the skipper of St Kilda has already had seven kicks in the first quarter and is doing a tremendous amount of damage at centre-half forward. One wonders how long John Coleman will uh, allow Shelton to remain on uh, Bulldog. There's the bounce of the ball back into the centre of the ground. Didrich bounces the ball when Wild grab and it's a free kick to Essendon to be taken by McKenzie. McKenzie's drop kick is a good one looking for Fordham. Fordham sets himself behind the pack. Can't bring the ball to the ground. Backed up well by Head. Head forced to kick with the left foot. Seeks the refuge of the boundary and it's out of bounds. Now just down in front of us here, in front of our camera position, Gerlach is uh, coming along with a trainer beside him going towards the race. Maybe he'll go onto the wing. Here's the boundary throw. An umpire Crouch has blown the whistle. He's going up and speaking to an Essendon player. And a free kick goes to St Kilda's way. This is Roland with the ball. Roland must have been infringed by Burt before the boundary throw-in. 
a chance for Essendon here. Johnson, or is it Burt, comes to the ball. Burt with a left foot pass finds Fordham, and Fordham marks the ball, then decides to show Murray where the mark was. Meantime, umpire Crouch is right on the spot, and he shows Murray where it is. Now, Fordham is 55 to 60 yards out from goal on a slight angle. Favors the torpedo punt, covering a lot of distance. Up high is Dittrich. But it's through for a goal to Essendon. A quick reply. A quick reply by Essendon to level the scores once more. In the time on period, St Kilda 1-6-12 are level with Essendon 1-6-12. 25 minutes of play in the first quarter. Well, already a great tussle, but I should say that uh, the Saints have had slightly the better of things kicking against the breeze. However, time will soon tell. Here they are going to attack. There's Reed knocking the ball forward. In comes Baldock for his eighth kick. He's got hold of it. He's showing great pace. There's the ball kicked away from him. He comes to it again. Dummies around. Gets his boot to the ball. Drives it forward. There's Blue setting himself to the mark though for Essendon and takes it safely on uh, St Kilda's uh, right half forward flank. Between their right half forward line and their full forward position. The score's level as we go into the time on period in the first quarter. Uh, here's the ball coming uh, down towards the centre of the ground. It's picked up here by Fraser. Fraser looking for someone further afield. Drives the ball forward, but out comes Roger Head, backing his judgment nicely to mark the ball and break up the attack. Epis has gone to the back pocket for Essendon, Ken. Gerlach on yeah. the wing. There's Gerlach taking the mark. Gerlach switch to the wing, taking the mark on Essendon's left half forward flank. There's his kick coming up towards centre half forward. They come in here, Sinman knocks the ball away nicely. Chance here for St Kilda to clear it away again. A beautiful kick coming onto their right half forward flank. There's an infringement here against Cross and the free kick will go to Davis. Prior onto Baldock at centre half back and uh, Shelton has gone across to the half back flank for Essendon. Now Davis to uh, take the kick for the Dons on St Kilda's right half forward flank. Back he goes. Not a good uh, drop kick. It goes high in the air. There's a chance here for St Kilda to mark the ball uh, through Roland. He couldn't hold it. Morrow is in there. He couldn't grab the ball. Roland comes to it this time though. Gets hold of the ball. It's flanked out here towards the wing, towards McMaster Smith, but beats him over the line and will be thrown in. The throw in almost midfield on the member stand side of the ground. We're well into the time on period in the first quarter. There's the tap going to Essendon. It comes down to Johnston. Johnston onto his right boot. Comes off the side of the boot here. Chance for Cinnamon. He couldn't control the ball. In comes Ian Stewart. He comes to it nicely. Dummies beautifully past uh, Clark. Drives the ball to centre half forward. But in comes McKenzie to take the mark for Essendon. He goes straight downfield. A nice long kick. It's going straight out towards uh, Sarakowski, who has got the break here on uh, Burt. Sarakowski puts his boot to the ball. It comes out of the far wing position where Jimmy Reed is racing to it, knocking it on in front of him, takes it over the line, and it'll be thrown in this time on St Kilda's left half forward flank. St Kilda won six, 12 points. The Don's the same score, and we've had about 28 minutes of play in the first quarter. Boundary throw in. Cooper and Morrow doing battle for St Kilda. Shelton punches the ball forward. It's picked up by Burt, juggling the ball nicely. Drives towards centre half forward. Fordham's in front of Murray and holds him. Fordham looks to be hurt as he came down. He may have hurt a shoulder, but he's uh, getting to his feet all right now, as you can see. Now it looks to be his right leg, or is it his left leg, which is causing him some trouble. Fordham, the Essendon full forward, has kicked the Don solitary goal so far. Is 55 to 60 yards out on a slight angle, almost the same position that he kicked the, his previous goal from. Favours the drop kick, it's not a good one. Falls in short, Fraser is there and marks on his chest despite opposition from Sinman, only 15 yards out and directly in front. Fraser, the Essendon captain, with a great chance to put the Dons in front. Punt kick is right through the middle. That's Fraser's first goal, Fordham 1, Fraser 1, Essendon 2 goals, 6 18, to St Kilda 1 6 12. And Fordham is still in the hands of the uh, Essendon trainers, he's just breaking away from them now, limping quite perceptibly. There's the centre scene as Fordham goes back to full forward. He's moving more freely now, waiting for the rucks to come to this. 
There's the tap going to uh, Sampson. In comes Rollin, tries to pick it up. It's gathered in, though, by Jack Clark. He boots the ball forward, up towards uh, Fraser. Ball is knocked away by Sinman. Sinman comes to it nicely. Is backed up beautifully here by Ross Smith. Smith drives the ball forward. It's coming up on St Kilda's right half forward flank, where Cross goes for the ball. Knocked away from him. In comes St Kilda through Bruce McMaster-Smith, is it? Or oh, Stewart. No, it was Stewart. And Stewart will get the free kick. Stewart goes back. Oh, he grubs the ball rather badly. It comes in towards Cross. He's bumped solidly by Clark. Clark whips the hand pass to Blue. Blue looking for someone further afield. There's a chance for St Kilda, though. And the ball is marked in defence here by Sarakowski. Playing very well on that half-back line, too. Comes in only a young player, but he's playing like a veteran. His kick comes up to Ross Smith. He fumbles badly. Johnson has a chance to pick up for the Dons. Is caught with the ball by Morrow. We'll wait and see the free going against him. Morrow to take the uh, free kick, or is it Stewart? No, Stewart goes back. There's his kick driving the ball into the scoring zone. Chance here for Essendon to clear the ball away through Greg Brown. He drives it into the open spaces on the outer side of the ground. There's Mitchell moving to the ball. He's shepherded off nicely there by Gosper. In comes Mitchell now driving the ball up towards Fordham. He flies for it, fails to mark the ball. It's picked up nicely by Sinman, cleared away in dashing style and driven towards the boundary line and out to be thrown in half forward left with um, Essendon in the attack. Essendon are 2 6 18 points and Kilda 1 6 12. Not long to go in the first quarter. There's the boundary throw in. The ball comes out to be picked up by Sinman of St Kilda. He drives the Saints forward towards Cross. Cross and Davis doing battle. Morrow goes through strongly. The ball comes towards uh, Cross, but meantime there's a free kick to Davis of Essendon. A 15-yard penalty has been handed out by umpire Crouch. Cooper walking back with the ball and then delivers it to Davis. This puts Davis almost towards the centre half forward position and with a good kick he could land the ball right up into attack. Trying for too much distance is off the side of the boot. Mitchell is there. Marks on his chest. Mitchell in front on that occasion. And now Mitchell would be within scoring distance. 40 yards out, slight angle. Dewey Mitchell favours the drop kick. Plenty of distance. Is the accuracy there? No, it's not. It's offline, and Essendon record their seventh behind. To take them on at quarter time, Essendon 2 7 19 leads St Kilda 1 6 12. Umpire Jeff Crouch ready to bounce the ball to start the second quarter. There's the bounce, a good one too. Up high as Dittrich gets the knockdown and goes quickly to Gosper of Essendon. Gosper drives forward, but it's marked by Roland. Roland descends and killed forward towards Baldock. Prior now on Baldock. Baldock is in the field, we've been held, and it's Baldock's free kick at centre half forward for St Kilda. St Kilda quickly into attack at the start of the second quarter. This it's is their captain. Line kick Nick too, sir, no. That's right, Ken. He and Stewart, both eight kicks in the first quarter. Baldock runs very close to the man on the mark, kicks into the pocket, and the mark is taken there in defence for Essendon by Davis. There's the kick from Davis. Out towards the flank. Cooper is there, can't mark the ball. Dittrich goes in for St Kilda, close to the boundary line and across the line in front of uh, the race and the members of the constabulary. Boundary throw in, centre wing, favouring St Kilda's attacking side. Up high, Didridge palms the ball down nicely, a chance for Rollins, whips the hand pass to Cooper. Cooper lines them up, his drop kick is going right into the forward pocket. Payne is there, tackled by Morrow. The ball goes from Payne's boot across the line and out of bounds for another boundary throw in. One minute of play gone, almost a minute and a half in the second quarter, and Essendon maintain their seven-point lead. Boundary umpire Green about to put the ball into play. Is Dittrich number 10, Mackenzie 24, Dittrich tapping the ball down, it's sharp though by Burt, going very close to the boundary line, picked up by Davis, Davis immediately drives the ball forward, and the mark is taken here by Ian Stewart. He's been very prominent in the centre, this fellow here is getting a lead from Cooper, Cooper comes to the ball, picks it up nicely, sends it back towards uh, Stewart as he comes in, he's caught with the ball there by Blue, I think it is, oh. but the tackle was too high, and the free kick will go to uh, Stewart. Stewart, the uh, Brownlow medal winner, having his 10th kick of the match so far, has been very prominent in the centre, has given St Kilda a lot of drive. Clark being brought back on the mark. In fact, he's been taken right off at us. 
as Davis is there and here's uh, Stewart coming in. He'll put this well down towards the goal with a breeze behind him. A beautiful drop kick. They are flying for it. The mark claimed here by Essendon. It's not allowed. Hits the ground. In comes Roland. Roland very close to the boundary line. Doing battle there. Couldn't quite control the ball and he may get a free kick. Yes, it's going against Alec Eppes. And the free is going to Roland. He's in a very... Uh, awkward position to put it through he's right on the fringe of the boundary line there he is lining it up it's a difficult shot cute angle shot there's his kick at goal and it's all right. it's that was a magnificent goal kicked by Roland from an acute angle his third kick so far a beautiful goal and St Kilda are now only one point behind the Saints 2 6 18 Essendon 2 7 19 back on the center bounce favours Dittrich, he grabs the ball in the ruck, is penalised for throwing the ball again the free kick taken by McKenzie who plays on quickly, drives forward, Neil anticipates the bounce or tries to, Sampson punches the ball forward looking for Mitchell it comes towards Gerlach, Gerlach is brought down but picked up by Fraser and snapped in towards goal, a ball in the forward pocket comes towards Gosper and it's off the hands of players and out of bounds at Essendon's full forward pocket right Essendon leading by one point 19 to 18, boundary throw in. Dittrich has the front position, taps the ball down, comes towards Serikovsky. He's doing battle with Bert. Bert is catapulted forward, but the ball, meantime, is out of bounds. Another boundary throw in. Dittrich versus Sampson. Now it's Sampson in front, but uh, Dittrich, with big spring, gets up over the top, ball close to the line, and is brushed across once more. Dittrich, there you see him, to be opposed to Sampson. Dittrich in front, but it's picked up by Bert of Essendon. Bert screws the ball around with the left foot towards centre half forward. Fraser is there. Fraser's mark. Fraser, 40 yards out, 45 yards out maybe, and straight in front. The Essendon captain with a chance to put the Dons further in front. Punt kick looks to be going off the side of the boot, and it's marked in defence by Neal. Neil on Essendon's last line of defence. Looks like favouring the grandstand flank. His kick is not a good one off the side of the boot and goes out of bounds. Still almost in the forward pocket and a change has been made for Essendon. Egan has come onto the ground for Essendon and Shaw is off. Boundary throw in. Dittrich with McKenzie this time. Dittering knocking the ball. Here's a chance for Johnson moving to it for Essendon. He's brushed aside though by Serikovsky. The ball picked up here by St Kilda. Driven close to the boundary line and out of play. Two players are having an exchange behind the play there. The um, One of the trainers moves in between the two players there. Umpire Crouch comes down. Only a, a slight rush of players though. Here's boundary umpire Tanner about to put the ball into play Dittrick goes high too early though the ball's not clear by St Kilda comes towards Johnston Johnston is in trouble is bumped there by Roland and the ball goes out of play again Dittrick number 10 moving back doing a lot of work on the ruck there's McKenzie going with him Dittrick gets into the back of McKenzie play goes on as Gosper picks up the ball drives it forward is coming up towards Fraser playing a very nice game he's caught with the ball here breaks away nicely though wasn't held very long sends it right up in front of goal there's Fordham flying for the ball couldn't hold it it's swept away by St Kilda out of defense but comes into the arms of Gosper Gosper immediately goes on with play drives the ball forward chance here for St Kilda through Murray Murray couldn't quite grab it Johnson's got it there he's been held the ball held onto him umpire Crouch will bounce it about 25 yards around from the Essendon goal they're kicking towards the scoreboard end there's Neil knocking the ball forward close to the boundary line in fact it's over and will be thrown in again one point the difference Essendon in front at last bounce was the first bounce in general play for the whole game comes through to Bert from the boundary throw in Bert is grabbed first forced to hand pass Murray comes out from full back Bert goes down holding his leg behind the play but picks himself up as the ball goes across the line and out of bounds there's John Bert in your picture closely attended by Roland boundary throw in once more Dittrich up over the top of the pack palms the ball down comes back to it a second time picked up by McMaster Smith 
on the left boot. He drives forward, hugging the boundary line, looking for Stewart, but the ball is off the hands of players once more and out of bounds directly in front of the Essendon bench. Ditteridge versus McKenzie. McKenzie wins out, get the ball down towards Burt. He can't pick it up, sockers it off the ground, and another boundary throw in will result. Essendon 2 7 19, leading St Kilda 2 6 18. Seven and a half minutes of play gone in the second quarter. Another boundary throw in, this time it's Stewart. Comes to ground after picking up the ball, hand passes towards Sinman. Sinman gets the ball, is dragged off it by Fraser. Fraser following on nicely, shoots the hand pass to Shelton. Shelton spills the ball, through comes Kennedy, can't quite pick it up. Back towards Fraser. Kennedy has another chance to pick it up for St Kilda. Does so, drives it deep in towards the forward area. There's Smith, and Smith makes a beautiful mark, looking back over his shoulder. Magnificent, a very courageous mark by young Smith. And he has the chance now to really put them back into the game. On the mark is Alec Eppis. Ross Smith to shoot for goal from 35 yards out. Torpedo punt. It's there, right through the middle. A goal to St Kilda, and they hit the front. St Kilda, 3-6-24. Lead Essendon, 2-7-19 at the eight-minute mark in the second quarter. There's the scoreboard for you. St Kilda, 3-6. Essendon, 2-7. Morrow coming into the ruck for St Kilda. There he is, number eight. Samson, number 34 for Essendon. Morrow gets in front, knocks the ball down. Chance here for St Kilda to pick it up through Cooper. He gets it out to Roland. Roland's going back, having a long shot at goal. There's Dittrich going for it. It's touched, though, and goes through for a behind. A behind to St Kilda. Moving on now to 3 7, 25 points. There's the goal umpire at that end of the ground, who is uh, Keith Cree. Brown about to put the ball into players going straight down the center of the ground looking for Sampson. The big fellow sets himself for the mark and brings it down nicely. Almost midfield. It's a beautiful kick, that one from Brown. Sampson didn't have to move. There's his kick. It's not a good one. Grubbed along the ground. Luckily finds Burt. Burt goes around nicely, passes beautifully to Gosper. Gosper thinking of going on with play. Fortunately for him, he's steady. He has the ball almost center half forward. He'll put it well up towards the goal. There's his drop kick, a nice one, looking for Fordham. Fordham from behind, flies high, but he's outmarked here by Neil. Neil playing in the back pocket for St Kilda. First year ruckman for St Kilda, this fellow. He's only a young chap, about 21, very solid. He's about 6'2", 14 and a half stone. There's his kick, bringing the ball forward. Samson goes for it, couldn't mark it. Here's Jack Clark getting hold of the ball. He's in trouble, is caught with it, drops it. He's going to be penalised, and the three, I think, will go to... Uh, Sarakowski, yes, Sarakowski to take the free, tries a short pass here towards Cooper. Cooper didn't mark it as it uh, came towards the boundary line and it'll be thrown in here. Almost midfield on the member stand side. There's Sampson trying to grab the ball. It's knocked away by Cooper. McMaster Smith chips in beautifully. A lovely turn of speed, a lovely drop kick up towards Morrow. Morrow sets himself for the mark and brings it down. A beauty. The mark, I think, is coming back. It'll either be Burton Howell or Morrow. We'll wait and see. It's uh, Burton Howe who has been awarded the mark uh, almost centre half forward. There's Howe, the former Tasmanian. Three Tasmanians, former Tasmanians in this uh, St Kilda side playing in key positions. Howe at full forward, Stewart in the centre and Baldock centre half forward. Now Howe can put it through from here. He's about 45, 50 yards out. There's his shot at goal. It's a beauty. Straight through. A terrific roar there from the uh, St Kilda supporters as the Saints go further ahead. 4-7-31 to the Dons, 2-7-19. Roy Wright. There's another move on now with Heapers back onto the wing onto McMaster Smith. Ordering one of the trainers away from the centre of the ground. <laughs> Ordering both trainers away from the centre of the ground. Now moves in to bounce the ball. There it is. Dittridge is up high, but it's Sampson's palm down. Comes towards Eppis, who, as you're told, was back in the centre. Free kick to Eppis, and this will be his first kick of the game. Eppis just on the defensive side of the centre to put Essendon into attack. He's a lovely kick on most occasions. 
the punt kick towards half forward. Samson is up high, takes a lovely mark. The big fellow flew from behind and pulled it down neatly. Now he's, that's his fourth mark, and he is at centre half forward. Take a good kick to score from here. He gets underneath the ball, looking for Fordham. Up high is Murray, the ball punched away. A snapshot at goal, bounces the wrong way by Mitchell, and it goes through for a behind. St Kilda, 4 7 31 and Essendon, two goals, eight, 20. 11 points the difference. St Kilda leading, 12 and a half minutes of play gone in the second quarter. As Murray about to put the ball into play, favouring the outer side of the ground. It's in a bit short there. Cooper went for it. It's knocked away. In comes Roland. He knocks the ball forward. Chance here for Gosper. Oh, Gosper's bump solidly. A good hip and shoulder bump. There they are, milling around. Umpire Crouch calls for the ball quickly. No, he's going to give a free kick here to Epis. Epis to take the free on uh, Essendon's left half forward flank. There's his drop kick, a lovely one, bringing it right up in front of goal. Fordham went for the ball there, couldn't quite mark it. He's been watched very closely. There's Burt coming in. Ball's knocked away by Roger Head, playing extremely well, comes through in dashing style. The ball picked up by Reeders and Kilda, drives it forward towards Balder. Balder coming from behind, I think may have interfered with the uh, Essendon player, and the kick is going to Davis, I think. Yes, Davis to take the uh, kick for Essendon on St Kilda's right half forward flank. There's his drop kick, a nice one. Looking for Samson, the big fellow flies from behind. Dittrich was in front, is claiming the mark. In fact, will get a free kick over his shoulder. Dittrich will take the free for St Kilda on the Don centre half forward position. He goes back now. There's a nice drop kick. Bring the ball up towards the centre half forward position. A chance for the Saints to break away here. They do drive the ball up towards Howell. Howell couldn't handle it cleanly. Comes to the ball again. It's kicked off the ground there. Uh, by St Kilda and out of play. It'll be thrown in full forward right. Ball kicked off the ground then by Cross. Alan Morrow in a little bit of trouble for St Kilda. He seems to be favouring a, a leg injury. There's the ball into play. Essendon trying to clear it away through prior. The whistle is gone and it'll be a free kick to the Essendon defender be taken about 25 yards around from the right hand behind place. St Kilda in the attack. Fires clearing kick for Essendon goes out towards the flank. The mark is claimed for St Kilda by Reed, and Reed it is who will go back to drive the Saints forward once again. Reed's kick is a spiral punt kick. Up high is McKenzie, and McKenzie pulls down a very safe and timely mark in defence for Essendon. 15 minutes of play gone in the second quarter and St Kilda 31 lead Essendon 20. Mackenzie's kick not a good one it comes back towards Davis. Davis screws on with the right foot looking for Gosper. Gosper takes the easy chest mark out on the centre wing. Gosper goes on with play got the lead further afield. It was uh, missed by Johnson comes to Blue. Blue is dragged down. St Kilda could be in a bit of trouble here. They get the run of the ball however through Stewart. Touches the ball on the ground. His kick is off the side of the boot. Coming in is Sirikovsky. Interferes with Gosper. Gosper's free kick. St Kilda 4-7-31. Leading Essendon 2-8-20. Just over 15 minutes of play gone in the second quarter. Gosper from the centre wing, out of side, drives the ball round the flank, towards half forward, Fraser flies high, can't come to the ball, Ditterich does, does battle with Sampson, Sampson wins out but he comes to Sinman, Sinman scoops the ball back towards the boundary line, kept in play however, here's Murray to clear the ball for St Kilda, his standing drop kick looking for Cooper is there, up is Payne, high behind the pack, so comes to Clark, Clark bumped out of the way, but a boundary throw in will be the result, that's Cooper there. Boundary umpire with Alec Eppis. Boundary throw in. Ten is Didrich. Eight, Payne. Up behind the pack. The ball comes down towards Clark. Hotly pursued by Smith. Clark is allowed to come to the ball. Short pass by Clark is a lovely one. Right into the arms of Huey Mitchell, who's come up leading up from the forward pot. Mitchell just on the attacking side of the cricket pitch. Moves in. It's well underneath the ball. Gives it a lot of air towards full forward. Fordham is there positioning himself. Punched away by Murray. St Kilda defenders on top. Griffiths it is. Comes down from the half-back flank. Takes one bounce. Then coolly and casually punts the ball across the line and out of bounds. St Kilda 4-7-31. Essendon 2-8-20. 17 minutes of play gone in the second quarter. Boundary umpire. Green with the ball. Rucks come down. Is Samson getting in front of Dittrich, knocking the ball clear. It's picked up here by uh, 
Essendon driven in towards the goal chance for Porter. He picks up six for there. Or was it Gosper? No, it was Gosper dropping down from the half forward flank and he slaps it through for the Don's third goal. Nice play, good anticipation then by uh, Gosper moving in, chipping in nicely to pick up the ball, made main mistake. And there's the board, the Don's 3 8 26 to St Kilda 4 7 31. Only five points the difference, and we've had about uh, 17 minutes of play in the second quarter. There's the tap going to. Uh, Essendon, down it comes, picked up here by Burt. Burt's got a lead further afield here from Fordham. It's a little bit wide of him, he comes to it, closely pressed by Murray. Fordham breaks clear, knocks the ball on in front of him. And there he is, favouring that uh, injured uh, left leg again. Obviously a, a knee injury, and Fordham in trouble. Ball to be thrown in only about 10 yards around from the left hand behind post. Rucks move in. There's Sampson in front, knocking the ball down too. It's picked up here by Huey Mitchell. He's brushed aside. The ball kicked off the ground here by St Kilda. Comes up towards the centre. Out comes Cryer and dashing style from centre half back. Gets hold of the ball, drives it forward. There's Sampson grabbing it as it comes off a teammate's hands. Hooks it around, up towards Fordham. Fordham has the ball punched away. A magnificent save there by Murray. Coming late on the scene to knock the ball away from the Don's full forward and out of play to be thrown in. 4-7 St Kilda, 3-8 Essendon throw in Sampson against Didridge. Sampson wins the hit down it goes towards Burt picked up by that player very elusive gets around onto his right foot short passes to Mitchell Mitchell is tackled play on says the umpire the kick off the ground sends the ball forward to St Kilda the pass to Smith going in there handles the ball nicely that was Cross who drove St Kilda into attack looking towards Howe Howe has the run of the ball now bounces the ball is dragged off play on still says the umpire Gerlach coming through in dashing style for Essendon Kicks the ball off the ground, comes towards Johnson on the centre wing. Johnson turns round nicely onto his right boot, goes further forward, up high towards Neal, who punches the ball away for St Kilda. Samson, can he pick it up before the boundary line? No, it's out of bounds. And a very spirited passage of play as the ball swept from one end of the ground to the other and back again. St Kilda 4 7 31, Essendon 3 8 26. Dittrich in the ruck, seems to be in the ruck permanently now. Coming through, Mitchell, Neal takes the ball off him, gets it to Dittrich. Dittrich's hurried left foot kick goes across the line and out of bounds on uh, Essendon's half-forward flank. On the members' side of the ground. Essendon 3-8-26, St Kilda 4-7-31. Neither side able to get an appreciative break in this grand final. Ball into play. Mackenzie knocks it down. However, it's picked up here by the Saints. The ball is hooked around. There's Blue coming to it. Couldn't quite mark it. Backed up by Clark. He couldn't handle it cleanly. Blue grabs it again, shoots it forward. Here's Fraser chipping in and taking a lovely mark. Beautiful anticipation. Fraser playing a great game at centre half forward for the Dons. Baldock also playing at the opposite end at centre half forward. A splendid game for St Kilda. Now Fraser's about uh, 45 yards out, angle 45 degrees, the, the kick's in short and through four of behind. Essendon now have nine behinds on the board, 3-9, 27 points, St Kilda 4-7-31. And we've had about 20 minutes of play now in the second quarter. Huge crowd here to see this 1965 grand final. The big question, can St Kilda win their first ever premiership? or Essendon, their 12th. There's the kick by Murray, a beauty, up towards Neil. Neil flies to the ball, couldn't hold it. It's grabbed here by uh, Eppis. Eppis drives the ball right up in front of goal. There's Big Samson setting it for it, setting himself for it. It's knocked away, comes out towards Sidman. Sidman immediately goes for the flank, driving the ball very close to the boundary line. In fact, it's over. It beats uh, Blue over the line and will be thrown in about half forward, right with the Dons in the attack. Kicking towards the scoreboard end. Boundary umpire Tanner about to put the ball into play. Mackenzie goes for it, gets the knock. I think it'll go out again. Yes, it's over the line. A lot of tension in this game. Mackenzie doing battle there again with Neil. Mackenzie wins out, however, in chips McMaster Smith showing a good turn of speed. Gets hold of the ball with plenty of dash. Gets it across to Reed number seven. He's been chased there by Eppis. Eppis going to him now as Reed puts his boot to the ball. It's going out towards Cooper and Davis. Cooper gets to the ball first, but the boundary line is there. Beats him over and will be thrown in half forward right with St Kilda in the attack. 
Not much in it. 31 points to St Kilda, 27 to Essendon, 22 and a half minutes of play in the second quarter. Boundary throw in about to take place. Cooper looks to be on the ball. Bumps into McKenzie. Cooper comes down with the ball, hooks it onto his right foot, is smothered. And the ball goes close to the line. In fact, it's across the line now and out of bounds once more. Cooper versus Davis. Now it's Mitchell who came in from behind. A chance for Burt to pick up the ball. He's in all sorts of trouble. Eludes his way cleverly out of trouble and then drives the ball across the line about 30 yards further down the field. St Kilda 4-7-31. Essendon 3-9-27. Four points the difference after 23 minutes in the second quarter. Another boundary throw in almost on the centre wing. Up high was McKenzie, went up early, Neil got the punch down, goes to Rollins, Rollins towards Baldock, but the boundary line is too close once more. Baldock almost joins the crowd over there, and meantime the boundary umpire will come back and throw it in. A view of the enormous crowd here at the scoreboard end of the Melbourne Cricket Ground. From the ruck duel it comes towards Cooper, Cooper is dragged too high and will get a free kick. Cooper is 60 yards out, about 5 or 10 yards inside the boundary line, and will drive the ball right into attack for St Kilda. His drop kick covers a lot of distance, but he's off line and it's out of bounds near the behind post. St Kilda 4 7 31, leading Essendon 3 9 27. Four points the difference. Round the full back for Essendon. No, nope, the ball is going to be thrown in here. Here's the tap going tomorrow. Down it comes. Chance here for the ball to be picked up by Howell. He crashes past an opponent. Couldn't uh, break clear of the ball. Kicks it off the ground into the open spaces. There's Alec, Alec Eppes racing to the ball. Picking it up beautifully. His kick's a bad one. Grabbed along the ground. In comes Blue. He loses possession of the ball. It's snapped up here by Griffiths. He goes clear with the ball. A magnificent kick into the scoring zone. But away off line and out of play. That was a terrific drop kick by Darrell Griffiths. Covered about uh, 65, 70 yards. Ball comes into play. There's McKenzie in front, but the tap goes and killed his way. It's come down here, but snapped up nicely. Chance here for uh, Roland, I think it is, to line it up. He sent, shoots for goal, but he's off line with it. A point to St. Kilda. They're way off the target. So two are the Dons in the first half of the game. St Kilda 4-8 now, 32, Essendon 3-9, 27. Here's Brown again, this time favouring the member stand side. A nice drop kick comes out here with Griffiths flies to the ball. So too does Shelton, and Shelton brings down the mark. He was in front of the pack. Shelton to take the kick for the Dons on St Kilda's left half forward flank. A nice spiral punt coming up towards Fraser. Sets himself to the mark and brings it down beautifully. Fraser, five marks so far for the Dons. Has been very safe and sure overhead. He'll put Essendon well into attack. There's a nice drop kick coming up towards Samson. Samson's bustled away from the ball there by Neil. Neil was interfered with and will get the free kick, I think. Yes, Neil going back to take it for St Kilda. St Kilda 4 8 32 as we enter the time on period in the second quarter. Essendon 3 9 27. Neal from almost centre half back now to drive the ball out, gets it off the side of the boot somewhat, looks for Kennedy, the ball comes right over the back of the pack, taken by Blue, he's tackled, play on says the umpire, Kennedy showing a lot of pace for a big fellow, takes away from Payne, drives forward but he's gets a shot right off the side of the boot and out of bounds in the forward pocket. There's Des Kennedy in his first season with St Kilda, came from the association club Sandringham, now Ditrich, to do battle with the Essendon Rucks once more against Payne and Mitchell. Mitchell it is who comes over the back. The tap is ineffective. Gerlach gets a punch away, comes towards Burt. Burt is held onto when not in possession, and it's Burt's free kick. John Burt, the Essendon Rover, to clear the Essendon back lines. Sees the lead given to him by Shelton. Shelton is allowed to mark on his own. Out on the half-back flank. Shelton, the Essendon vice-captain, favours the drop kick. Looking for Fraser. Sinman has hold of Fraser by the arm. Play on by Fraser. Gets the ball to Egan. Oh, and a shocking kick by Egan. Had a lead from Samson running straight towards him. 
and off the side of the boot once again and out of bounds. Not good kicking by both sides. And a change has been made for St Kilda. Morrow has come off the ground for St Kilda and Morton is on in replacement for the Saints. Meanwhile, the ball comes back to Egan. Egan hand passes to Mitchell. Mitchell in the forward pocket, lines up the goal. Stab passes right across the face of goal and it's out of bounds on the other side of the ground. A big loss, Morrow, I should say, Roy. A tremendous loss, Ken. Uh, Morrow is the player in the ruck who steadies them and takes the big march for them, and it certainly is bad luck for St Kilda. Back in the boundary throw-in, the ball is punched away by Dittrich across the line and out of bounds. Morrow just about to go into the player's race. There you are. Another boundary throw in to take place. 27 minutes of play gone. Four points, five points the difference. And Dittrich up tremendously high from the ruck duel. But it comes down towards Eppis. Eppis drives the ball high, right into the square. Johnson sets himself, flies high, can't bring it down, comes to Burt. Oh, he's solidly met. Play goes on. Picked up by McMaster Smith, roaming far and wide from his wing position. Gets a left foot kick, but puts it across the boundary line once again. St Kilda 4 8 32, Essendon 3 9 27, 28 minutes gone in the second quarter. Well, what a disappointed man uh, Alan Morrow must be. He's given uh, St Kilda a terrific season. He's got a big heart, this fellow, and a breakdown in the grand final would be a, a bitter disappointment to him. There's Sampson in front knocking the ball down. Comes to it again. Huey Mitchell in there, knocks the ball along the ground towards Blue. Blue breaks away nicely, is caught with the ball, breaks away again, drives up right in front of goal. This could be interesting as Fordham goes for it and makes a beautiful mark to his What a beauty. Magnificent jump. Fordham almost uh, straight in front on a bit of an angle, about oh, 10 yards out. Shouldn't have much trouble putting this in. There it is, straight through the middle. And the Dons hit the front again. One point in front. That's Fordham's second goal. Essendon 4-9 to St Kilda 4-8. One point the difference. And we're well into the time on period in the second quarter. Goal kickers for Essendon. Two to Fordham. One to Gosper. And one to Fraser for St Kilda. One each to Smith, Baldock, Powell and Rowland. Back in the centre with umpire Crouch. There's the bounce of the ball. Dittrich is there. We'll have to do the lion's share of the ruck work now. Comes down towards Smith. Ball is uh, punched away by Eppis. Comes back towards Egan. Egan drives Essendon forward. The ball is onto the half-back line. There's Serikovsky gathering the ball in for St Kilda. Kicks the ball out wide towards the flank. And it's out of bounds once more on the centre wing. St Kilda 4-8-32. Trailing Essendon, 4-9-33. One point the difference, 30 minutes of play gone in the second quarter. St Kilda much too hurried with their play. As a result, their disposal is very ragged indeed in this quarter. There's Egan trying to pick up the ball for the Dons. Gets hold of it, sends a hand pass forward. Way go Essendon into attack now, driving the ball through their left half forward line. But Sarakowski's in the way again, slams towards the boundary line. Purely defensive kick and puts it out of play to be thrown in midfield on the outer side. One point the difference, Essendon in front. There's Dittrich, number 10, Sampson, number 34. Where they go for it, but it's Payne coming from up behind who knocks the ball down towards Egan. Egan's tackle, couldn't break clear with it. Here's a chance for Stewart to pick up the ball. Dummies around nicely, puts his boot to it, it's smothered. Comes out towards uh, uh, Ross Smith. Ross Smith's in trouble too, gets his boot to it, goes for the boundary line again and slams it straight out of play. This is defensive football by St Kilda in the closing stages of the second quarter. Rucks come in again. Dittrick goes high from behind, gets the tap. It's picked up though by Jack Clark. He sends it up towards Fordham. Fordham takes the mark. A beauty. A very strong fellow, this chap. A very safe pair of hands. A little bit too strong physically, I think, for uh, Murray. And Fordham has a chance now to post his third goal. Lines it up and through it goes, I think. Yes, it's a goal. There he is. He got six last week against Collingwood. Has kicked so far three in the first half of this grand final and the Dons move to a seven-point advantage. 5-9-39, St Kilda 4-8-32 and not long to go now in the second quarter. They've been playing almost 32 minutes in the second quarter, a very long quarter.
Ball comes to the ground without being touched. Taken by Stewart. Play on, says the umpire. Eppert sends Essendon forward. There's a chance for Gosper. Gosper and Fordham leading in the race for the ball. Picked up by Gosper. Shoots for goal. There's a chance for Mitchell. Mitchell can't quite keep the ball in play. Strong play by Sinman coming through heavily there. Forces the ball across the line and out of bounds. Essendon 5-9-39. Leading St Kilda 4-8-32. Can the Dons kick another goal before the close of this quarter? Right down in their scoring zone. Here's a chance. The ball punched forward by Sampson. Comes towards goal. Picked up by Neal. Neal hooks the ball around over the head of McMaster Smith. Blue and Kennedy coming towards the ball. It's Kennedy who gathers it in. Sends and Kilda forward. But there's Goss, uh, Pryor. Pryor for Essendon. Drives the ball back towards the forward area. Up there high is Fraser. And a great mark taken by the Essendon captain. A magnificent mark. Came in across the front of the pack and judged the ball beautifully. Seven marks for Fraser so far in this game. Fraser has a chance to kick his second and Essendon's sixth. 35 yards out, directly in front. Offline, however, and a behind only is the result. Essendon move along to 5, 10, 40. They have an eight-point lead over St Kilda. 4, 8, 32. 33 and a half minutes of play gone in a long second quarter. Murray, the full back for St Kilda. Here he is, about to put the ball into play, favouring the outer side of the ground, a magnificent kick covering about 65 yards. There's Dittrich flying for it as the siren goes to end the second quarter. Umpire Crouch there, you saw him at half time, the Dons, 5-10. 5 40 points to St Kilda for 8-32. The goal kicker so far, Three to Fordham for Essendon, one to Fraser and one to Gosper, and the four goal kickers for St Kilda. Smith won, Baldock won, Howell won, and Rowland also won goal. Repeating at halftime, Essendon 5 10, 40 points, leads St Kilda 4 8 32. Umpire Jeff Crouch in charge of the grand final. There's the bounce of the ball in the centre circle. Dittery Chips and Kilder is up high, punches the ball forward. A chance for Baldock to run towards the ball. He's tackled by Johnson. Baldock goes forward, clashes heavily with Gerlach in the back pocket, and Gerlach clears the defensive lines for Essendon, out to where the mark is taken by Griffiths of St Kilder on the centre wing on the outer side of the ground. Griffiths' drop kick is up towards full forward. Pack gathering up there. Howell of St Kilda full forward flies high. Play on, says the umpire. Pryor of Essendon clears the ball out, but it's marked on his chest by Reed of St Kilda. Reed drives St Kilda back into attack. Strong mark taken for Essendon, but play on is called by the umpire. Comes to Mitchell, number 31 of Essendon, drives the ball back towards the centre of the ground. Dittrich is up from behind. Play on again, says the umpire. Comes towards Stewart, the 1965 Brownlow medalist for St Kilda. Gets his kick in eventually, in towards centre half forward. There's a chance for Cooper. Punches the ball over the back of the pack, picked up by Pryor of Essendon. He clears out there, and the mark's been taken again by Reed. Reed is asked to play on once more by the umpire. Goes round onto his left foot, looks for Cooper, but it's all Essendon in there. Griffiths comes through strongly. Cooper is battling on strongly for St Kilda. Picked up by Eppis, but the umpire's whistle is blown, and it will be a free kick to Huey Mitchell of Essendon. Mitchell of Essendon on the half-back flank on the outer side of the ground. Essendon leading by eight points. There's a beautiful kick by Mitchell up towards centre half forward. Dittrich coming from behind, knocks the ball away. It comes to Rowland. He can't control it. Backed up by Dittrich. Whips a hand pass to Stewart. Stewart looking for Howell. Out comes Howell. Couldn't quite mark the ball. In fact, he was pushed in the back. We'll get a free kick as Baldock goes on with play. Burden Howell limping quite perceptibly after coming down pretty heavily after taking uh, that mark and also a free kick. He was pushed in the back as he came out to the ball. He's a fair way out from goal. He'll be about um, 50 yards out, perhaps a shade more, straight in front, kicking to what is known as the scoreboard end here at the MCG. This match is running very late, probably will finish around about a quarter past five. There's the kick now by Howell for goal. It's a beauty, straight through the middle. There's Burden Howell, the former Tasmanian and full forward for St Kilda. That's his second goal so far. I noticed that the goal umpire, Keith Cree, didn't have to move as that ball went through the goal. And so St Kilda get within two points of Essendon, 5-10 Essendon, 5-8 St Kilda. 
back in the centre. Jeff Crouch bounces the ball once again. The bounce favours McKenzie of Essendon. He knocks the ball forward to Blue of Essendon towards full forward, looking for Fordham. Murray is in front. Fordham claims the mark. Play on, says the umpire. Fordham is tackled, holding the ball, says the umpire, and a free kick goes to Murray, the St Kilda fullback. Murray with a long punt kick out towards the centre wing looking for Cooper and Dittrich. Dittrich punches the ball away. It's picked up by Mitchell. Mitchell of Essendon drives the Dons forward looking out for one of his players in Captain Fraser out on the half forward line. It's mishandled by a couple of players before it's picked up by Sinman and driven back towards the centre of the ground. Players battling for the mark. Stewart is in there. The ground line medalist with McKenzie and umpire Crouch will order a bouncer. Bad decision from the road by Crouch. Stewart certainly should have had the free kick there and, and the mark. Ball is kicked forward. Mitchell takes it for Essendon, kicks towards goal, but he's offline with a long snapshot and it goes through for a behind over. Essendon five goals, 11 behinds, 41 points, leading St Kilda 5 8 38, three points the difference. They've been playing almost five minutes into the third quarter. There's Murray, the full-back for St Kilda, about to put the ball into play. No doubt he'll favour the outer side of the ground. That's the defensive side with the breeze coming from a, a south, southerly direction. A beautiful kick going onto the flank. There's a mark claimed here. It's not allowed, though, as uh, umpire crouches play on. It's come out towards St Kilda's left half-forward flank. There's Stewart with the ball. He's been brilliant in the centre all day. Gets a free kick this time. And a big uh, round of applause for... Um, the St Kilda centre man. He seems to be favouring a, a knee injury now too. Just flexing his knee as you can see there. He's a beautiful kick this fellow normally. He's got a lead further afield here coming up towards uh, Cooper. Cooper couldn't quite mark the ball. It's gathered in by Baldock. He's looking for Howe. The pass is wide of him. In come Essendon in defence. However the ball is picked up by Morton. He shoots for goal. He's offline with it though. It's a point. There's the goal umpire, probably a little bit dazed. In fact, it's uh, out of play, just near the right hand behind post. Goal umpire Cree crashed into the post there. There the ruck's going for it with McKenzie getting a tap. It's come out here where Bert has got it for Essendon. Drives it further afield, up towards Blue. There he is, number 14. Blue towards the centre of the ground. Comes up to uh, where the mark is taken here by Sirakowski. A young player for the St Kilda side, first year player, former Xavier College boy drives the ball forward. There's a mark very nearly taken by uh, Esselin. I don't think it was held, but it's going to be allowed to Gerlach. Gerlach uh, allowed the mark for the Duns on St Kilda's right full forward position. Only three points of difference in Esselin's favour. There's the kick towards the centre of the ground. Dittrich flies high, claims the mark. It's not allowed, though, as Fraser picks up the ball, sends it out towards Gosper into the open spaces. He's got a lead here from Fordham. He disregards it, sends the ball up to Sampson. The big fellow, has he held the mark? No, umpire grabs his play on, and it hits the ground. A chance here for uh, Egan to get hold of it for Essendon. Has a left foot snap, but he's offline with a shot. A point only to Essendon. Umpire Crouch is making these players hold the ball before he will uh, uh, pay them out. The Dons move on to 5-12-42. St Kilda are 5-8-38. There's the St Kilda fullback, Bob Murray. About to kick the ball back into play. He looks as if he'll favour the other side of the ground. Spiral punt kick, looking for Dittrich. Dittrich forced out in front of the pack. The mark is claimed and allowed to send. The crowd not very happy about umpire Crouch's display at the moment. Up towards full forward. Fordham is there, Murray's there. Play on again, says the umpire. The ball comes to the ground. A chance for St Kilda to go in strongly. Fordham is dragged down behind the play. Umpire Crouch sees it and awards the Essendon full forward the free kick. Fordham is 35 to 40 yards out. A very acute angle. Looks for the short pass and close to Mitchell. Mitchell has time to line the goals up. Screw back in towards the goal square. A mark claimed by Fraser. It's punted through by Gospel. And a behind only is the result. 
Essendon 5-13-43. St Kilda 5-8-38. A five-point advantage to Essendon eight minutes into the third quarter. The shooting for goal by players on both sides hasn't been good today. Admittedly, they're under a lot of pressure, but they've been far too hurried. Now, there's the kick by Murray of Beauty coming out onto Essendon's right half forward flank. That was Samson knocking the ball away. It's come towards Egan. Egan's in trouble. Dummies around nicely, around the back, boots the ball in short, and a beautiful mark taken here by Burt. Or Mitchell. Mitchell it is. Huey Mitchell playing his 205th game today for Essendon. He's been a great player for the Dons over the years. 31 years of age, this fellow. He's within kicking range. He'll be about 50 yards out. He's having a long shot at goal. It's a beautiful drop kick, but a little bit offline. Yes, another behind scored by the Dons. They move on now to 5-14. 5-14. 44 points. St Kilda, 5-8-38. Essendon have the advantage of the breeze in this quarter. It's only a slight one and favouring the punt road end. There's Murray again putting the ball into play. A lovely punt kick. There's Dittrich knocking the ball away. Egan picks it up there for Essendon. Gets a hand pass across to Eppes. Eppes is in trouble. Been hotly pressed there by number three, Smith of St Kilda. But Eppes is going to get the free kick. Apparently he uh, was pushed in the back and will take the free on Essendon's right half forward flank. There's his kick, bringing the ball right into the scoring zone. Samson knocks the ball down to Fraser, 23. Fraser, a hand pass for Mitchell. Mitchell from an acute angle, shoots, and it could be a goal. No, it's just not blocked. Very close indeed, that one. A good attempt by Mitchell. That's the fifth behind so far that Mitchell has kicked in the game. Normally, a very accurate shot for goal. And so, Essendon's tally of behinds mount. There they are, 15 of them. 5-15, 45 points. St Kilda, 5-8, 38 to put the ball into play once again again favouring the members wing not a good kick this time doesn't quite cover the distance as before picked up by Griffiths for St Kilda on the half back flank he drives play further forward looking for ball lock out on the flank now Shelton comes across to intercept for Essendon and his kick goes across the line and out of bounds and umpire Crouch orders a boundary throw in Essendon 5-15 45 leading St Kilda 5-8-38 Seven points the difference, Essendon in front, ten minutes into the third quarter. There's the throw in again, the rucks go high, a chance for Kennedy, he overruns the ball, Johnson goes in there for Essendon, gets the ball cleverly, it's taken away from him by Eppis of his own team. A tempted kick off the ground by Griffiths, the ball close to the boundary line, picked up by Eppis once more, he's bumped as he kicks, comes back in towards the centre of the ground, both players misjudge the ball, a chance for Gosper of Essendon, swings the ball on the left boot towards Fordham, and Fordham a long way out to the goal, holds the mark on his chest. Fordham, number 20 of Essendon, has kicked three of Essendon's five goals to date. He's 65 yards out, favours the drop kick, Wards covering a lot of distance right up into the square, players fly high off their hands, and the ball goes through for a behind to Essendon. They are five goals, 16-46, leading St Kilda, 5-8-38, 11 minutes of play gone in the third quarter. Roy Wright, this um, kicking for goal by the Dons could be very costly. It could be very costly, Ken, but they're controlling the air so well that St Kilda are having trouble when Murray, who's kicking out now, kicks out. They can't take the mark to put them into attack. Essendon are too strong in the air. Kick is towards the centre of the ground. There's a chance there for the Dons to get hold of the ball. Here's another chance as Fraser, or rather, um, Payne comes to it, kicks it off the ground. In comes Dittry to pick the ball up. Coming through from the centre, he could be in trouble here. As Blue comes to the ball, he's bumped solidly. In comes Bert to pick it up. Bert's got a lead from Fordham. There it is. A beautiful pass there by Burt. He's one of the uh, really classical players of the Essendon side. Has a magnificent disposal. Here's Fordham, 45 yards out, lining it up. It could be close now. It's again offline and through for yet another point to um, Essendon. They move on now to 5.17, 47 points. St Kilda, 5.8, 38. Murray, the fullback uh, for St Kilda will put the ball into play and will favour the outer side of the ground. Notice Mitchell and Sampson moving across there for Essendon. There's the kick coming straight down the centre of the ground. Jack Clark going for the mark and takes it. Takes it for Essendon. 
almost on their centre half forward position. He's looking for a lead further afield. There it comes from Fordham, and again he's, uh, he's brought down very heavily by uh, Dittrich. Fordham, who was uh, injured in the first half of the game, and umpire Crouch is talking to uh, Dittrich and could pay a penalty. Here we'll wait and see. No, Dittrich is on the mark and Fordham uh, could put this through. He's uh, about 35 yards out, straight in front. Already he's kicked three for Essendon. A straight kick here and uh, Essendon will be in a happy position. There's the shot at goal. It's all right, it's through, it's a goal. Essendon move on now to 6.17, 53 points to St Kilda, 5.838, and Fordham has kicked 4-1 so far for Essendon. There's Jeff Crouch bouncing the ball in the centre once again. Up high was Neil, comes towards uh, Sampson. A scramble of players in the centre of the ground. The ball finally uh, gets out. It's picked up. No, Mike Master Smith is pushed in the back, and the free kick goes to the little St Kilda wing. Master Smith, the smallest player in league football, goes forward looking for the players further afield, but Sampson of Essendon is too strong in defence, comes out and takes a nice timely mark for the Dogs. Sampson drives the ball back with a lovely drop kick, looking for Fraser at centre half forward. The ball punched away from that player, comes to the ground, picked up by Neil. Neil hand passes to Smith, back to Sinman. Good football by St Kilda as they go forward, looking for Howell. Howell tries to pull it in one hand. Mackenzie and Rollins doing battle. Rollins gets the free kick. He was being held when not in possession. <laughs> this is Ian Rollins, the St Kilda first rover. 55 yards out, almost straight in front. Drop kick into the man on the mark. Picked up by Davis of Essendon. Davis is met solidly as he kicks back into the centre of the ground. Comes towards Fraser, the Essendon captain. Fraser in trouble. Hand passes to Clark. Clark a short pass to Johnson. Good football by Essendon. Johnson is met after he kicks too solidly. And there's a free kick to Essendon out on the half forward flank. Fordham's going on with play, but umpire Crouch catches up with him now. And Fordham will take the free kick. He decides to short pass, but he'll have to go back and kick over the mark. This is Fordham once again, a very mobile player for Essendon at full forward, right out on the half forward flank, about 70 yards from goal. And Essendon 53, leading St Kilda 38. Fordham already has kicked four goals, runs in, favours the drop kick, covering a lot of distance. Players trying to get under the ball, but a nice mark pulled down by Sinman of St Kilda in defence. Sinman plays on quickly, clears the lines out towards the centre wing, but it's all Russell Blue of Essendon to take them up. Blue of Essendon on the centre wing, drives the ball back in towards centre half forward. Samson and company waiting for the ball that comes towards the ground. Hurt is there, Rollins hotly pursuing him, picked up by Egan of Essendon, in and out of trouble, turns round, snaps for goal, very close. Punched away by the Essendon player. Chance for Fordham if he can pick up and screw the ball back over his head. No, head of St Kilda comes in and picks up the ball. Seeks the refuge of the boundary line and puts it out of bounds in the forward pocket for Essendon. St Kilda 5, 8, 38. Trailing Essendon 6, 17, 53. 16 and a half minutes of play gone in the third quarter. And Essendon are putting a lot of pressure on the defence of St Kilda. There's Dittrich, number 10, moving to the ball. Been closely pressed by Mitchell. Mitchell gets into the back of Dittrich and he'll take the free kick. Carl Dittrich, the tallest player on the ground, he's about six, four and a half, round about the 15 stone mark, comes in. There's his kick, or it's not a good one, falls in short and luckily goes into the hands of Roland. Roland quickly get, uh, gets a lead further afield from Cooper. Up it comes, the ball is knocked away there by uh, Bluey Shelton. He's caught with it by Baldock. Umpire Crouch says play on, the ball comes towards the centre. There's Clark moving to it, loses possession, backed up by Blue. Blue gets his boot to it, it's coming down towards Egan. Bounces awkwardly for him and out comes uh, Head with the ball to clear it away onto Essendon's left half forward flank. It's close to the boundary line there as it's grabbed by Cross. Umpire Crouch has blown the whistle, we'll move in, we'll wait and see what's going to happen. Sinman has gone to full back and uh, Captain Murray has gone out to the half back flank from full back. 
and Clark Crouch is going to bounce the ball. There's the tap going St Kilda's way, but it goes straight out to Russell Blue. Blue's got a lead here from a further afield, and the mark is taken here. A very doubtful one by Huey Mitchell. Mitchell to take the kick for Essendon, uh, almost on their left half forward flank. They're kicking towards the punt road end. There's a lead coming from Fordham. This time, Sinman's getting in front of him. The ball is knocked away. No, it's going to be a, a mark here to Fraser. Fraser coming from behind. He's taken about uh, eight marks today. Has been magnificent overhead. We'll put it well up towards the goal. It's a beautiful kick offline, though, and through for a point, I think. Essendon now, 6-18, 6-18, 54 points to St Kilda, 5-8, 38. Now Sinman, who is, has been transferred to full back for St Kilda to kick the ball into play. He chooses to go straight down the centre of the ground, looking for Serikovsky, comes towards Fraser, he's dragged off the ball, Serikovsky back onto the ball for St Kilda, gets the kick towards Baldock, and Baldock takes the mark, Epis uh, meets him as he uh, takes the mark, and Baldock is down and looks to be in trouble. Baldock picks himself up. Epis runs in to uh, make sure that Baldock doesn't whip the hand pass away. Baldock and Epis exchange words, and uh, there's a little bit of how do you do over there. The player's getting just a little bit excited. Umpire Crouch comes up to talk to Baldock. And the St Kilda captain will be allowed to take his kick. He does so. Kicks the ball a good 50 yards further downfield. A big pack flies high. Nobody can bring the ball down. Cooper it is of St Kilda who has the ball. The ball comes through. It's picked up by Jack Clark of Essendon. Drives the ball into the centre of the ground looking for a teammate further afield in Gosper. McKenzie kicks the ball off the ground. Straight through McMaster Smith's legs. A chance for Blue. He's tackled. Not in possession, and we'll get the free kick. Blue drives the ball, looking for Burt. Burt is there in front of head, and takes the mark for Essendon on the half-forward flank. John Burt, the Essendon rover. Sees the lead by Mitchell, and Mitchell accepts the pass about... 10 to 15 yards closer to goal. Huey Mitchell. 45 yards out from goal, on the angle, favours the drop kick. Up high, an Essendon mark, it's Sampson, and Sampson has marked in the goal square, about five yards out. Sampson kicks it through the middle. There's another goal to Essendon. Essendon have seven goals on the board. Essendon 7-18, leading St Kilda 5-8, 38, 21 minutes of play in the third quarter. And I think Verdon Howell is coming down from full forward now to full back. Verdon Howell moving down, there he is, to the full back position. That's his natural position, but St Kilda in recent games this year have swung him to full forward. Roy Wright, what do you think of the move? I think it's a good move. It's obvious that Fordham has been far too good for both players on him, Murray and Sinman, and uh, surely it makes a hole at full forward, but Howell has not played well at full forward for St Kilda today. Back of the centre, there's Dittrich getting the tap. Down it comes towards Roland. Roland drives the bump nicely, drives the ball forward, and a mark taken here by St Kilda. Murray who has been swung into attack now, has taken the mark for St Kilda just over their left half forward position. He's a good kick, this fellow. He'd be about 50, 55 yards out. Could put it through. Badly needed goal. This one for St Kilda. There's the shot at goal, and it looks a little bit offline. Yes, it's a point only. A point only to St Kilda when they badly need a goal. They move on now to 5-9, 39 points. Essendon, 7-18, 60 points. And we've had roughly about uh, 23 minutes of play in the third quarter as the ball is put into play by Brown. Brown's kick is a drop kick, almost reaching the centre of the ground. That's Cooper up high! No, Dittrich couldn't quite pull in the ball. Back in the centre of the ground, players going in very hard. Umpire Crouch has push in the back against Dittrich and the free kick will be taken by Essendon's Jack Clark. Clark drives Essendon forward. 
on towards the half forward line got a lead from Samson but here's Neil backing up well for St Kilda in the back pocket looks for Reed further afield but his kick is astray and it goes out of bounds on the centre wing Tinez Didridge, 24 McKenzie, 31 Mitchell, 31 for St Kilda is Cross. There's Mitchell, 31 for Essen, getting the ball over the back of the pack. His roll and coming through, he's uh, well shepherded as he goes further forward looking for Cooper. The pack flies, it's an Essendon mark, and it's been pulled down by Greg Brown, the Essendon fullback at the centre half back position for the Dons. Essendon are controlling the air at the moment. That's where they've got the advantage. Here's the ball coming towards centre half forward. Cinnamon number nine goes for it. But however, chips in, picks it up. He's got a lead from Mitchell. It's over his head. In comes Neil, number 18, overruns the ball. Samson knocks it cleverly to Bert. Bert's going to line it up, shoot for goal. And it looks all right to me. It's straight through. That's John Burt's first goal. There he is, number 11 for um, Essendon. A great little rover, this fellow, has played a big part in the Don success so far in the final series. Essendon coming from fourth position. This has only been done once uh, at the MCG to win the Premiership. There's the board back on the centre with Dittrich having the ball knocked away by McKenzie. Ball's held onto an Essendon player there. I think umpire Crouch will call for it. Now he's giving the free kick to uh, Dittrich. Didrick immediately swings and killed a forward. There's Shelton going for the ball for, uh, or rather, Davis. Davis getting a hand pass to Blue. Blue dummies around nicely. Clever player, this chap. Drives the ball up towards Gosper. Gosper claiming the mark. Not allowed to so umpire Crouch. Yes, he's going to play it. I think it was a free kick over the shoulder. And Gosper's to take the free. He's got a lead here further afield from Fraser. The ball comes behind to Fordham. Fordham can kick it to Burt. Burt's all on his own there, but the ball swings out of play to be thrown in full forward left. Essendon kicking with the breeze, and kicking towards the Hunt Road end, uh, leading 8-18 to St Kilda, 5-9. There's the boundary throw in, Samson versus Neil. Neil is up high, Samson punches the ball forward, but it goes to the opposition back pocket head. Gosper flies high from that kick. He's been allowed the mark. Jeff Gosper of Essendon, 50 yards out, very acute angle. Spiral punt kick right up to the 10-yard square. Players set themselves to punch the ball away. Here's Mitchell running into an open goal and pops it through. Mitchell's first goal, although he's already kicked five behinds as well, and Essendon are starting to run away from St Kilda. They are 9-18-72, and St Kilda 5-9-39. Goals for Essendon, four to Fordham, and one each to Gosper, Burt, Fraser, Mitchell, and Sampson. For St Kilda, two to Howell, one to Smith, one to Baldock, and one to Roland, almost into the time on period in the third quarter. Umpire Jeff Crouch in charge of his second grand final. There's McKenzie getting the tap for uh, Essen. It's gone to Jack Clark. He knocks the ball forward. Baldock comes in though for St Kilda. Gets hold of it. He's been held, wasn't in possession, and will get the free kick. Baldock, who was very conspicuous early in the game, but since prior was moved on to him, he's been very much quieter. There's the kick now by Baldock, bringing the ball back towards the uh, centre of the ground. Chance here for St Kilda as uh, they pick up the ball, drive it into the forward pocket. It's knocked away here by uh, Payne onto the ground, picked up by Morton. Morton drives the ball forward, but it's out of play to be thrown in full forward right with St Kilda in the attack. We've had about 27 minutes of play in the third quarter. Essendon, 918, 72 points, and Kilda 5939. Ball into play here. Rucks go for it. Scrimmage there. Ball comes into the open, picked up here by Cross. Cross a hand pass to Ross Smith. He in turn to Morton. Morton lines it up, shoots for goal, and it's a point only. When St Kilda badly need goals. 510 now, St Kilda. 40 points. Essendon, 918, 72. And not very long to go in the third quarter. Say about two minutes remaining for play. 
Here's Brown putting the ball into play. A beautiful drop kick. He's kicking in has been magnificent out towards Sampson. The ball comes off his hands. Is grabbed there by Russell Blue. He sends the ball to Fraser. Fraser's pushed in the back. Play goes on as Roger Head comes out to gather in the ball of St Kilda. Drives it forward. Sampson flies. Couldn't hold the ball. It's picked up here by the Dons. In chips uh, Sinman. Gathers in the ball for St Kilda. Drives it forward. But a beautiful mark taken in defence by Davis. The halfback flanker for Essendon. Davis marking the ball on St Kilda's right half forward position. It's a good kick, this fellow. A nice drop, this one too, covering about 60 yards. Here's uh, Sarakovsky flying for the ball, couldn't mark it. He's backed up by Baldock. The boundary line is close. Baldock. Uh, Keeps it in play though beautifully. Dummies round the opponent. Goes on with play. Puts his boot to the ball. It's coming forward towards Murray. Brown knocks the ball away. In comes Shelton. Kicks it off the ground. It's going towards Jack Clark. Clark marking the ball for Essendon. Steadies very wisely. Has the ball practically in the centre. He's got a lead out on the uh, left half forward flank from Fraser. There's Fraser diving to the ball and holding a beautiful mark. That's about his... Uh, Ninth mark so far of the match. A magnificent player, the Essendon captain. Has the ball on Essendon's left half forward position. There's his drop kick, a nice one. Right into the forward pocket. There's Fordham flying for it. And the mark is going to be allowed. Howell tried to punch it away, but the mark is going to Fordham. Now Fordham has kicked four goals so far. And that's his ninth mark so far in the match. This is where Essendon have dominated so far with their aerial supremacy. Now Fordham's about 40 yards out. There's his shot at goal. It's offline though, screwing around. He hooked it around and it, in fact it's out of play. It'll be thrown in just near the left hand behind post. Some kill to 5-10, Essendon 9-18. Boundary throw in with Ditterich opposing Sampson. Sampson has the front position. Ditterich up high, gets the ball down. It comes to the Essendon rover, Burt. Burt screws round with his left foot, snaps for goal, but once again it's off the line and there'll be another boundary throw in. Ten is Ditterich, four Baldock. Four St Kilda. 34 Sampson of Essendon. There's a quick throw in. Fordham is pushed in the back. Umpire Crouch has seen it and blown the whistle. And it's a free kick to Fordham, the Essendon full forward. A chance for him to kick his fifth goal. I think uh, the St Kilda are giving away far too many free kicks at the moment. Foolish free kicks too, particularly up on Essendon's forward line. Fordham, five yards out, very acute angle. Kicks for goal, right through the middle. Five goals to Fordham, ten to Essendon. They move on to ten goals, 18 behinds, 78 points. To St Kilda's five goals, ten behinds, 40 points, 30 and a half minutes of play gone in the third quarter. Boundary umpire bring the ball back towards the centre. There's boundary umpire Green just coming into view. Ruckman are all set. This Carl Dittrich, number 10, going for the ball there, comes out towards Reed. Reed has tackled the tackle too high, tackled there by Epis, and the free will go to Reed, the St Kilda wingman. He's got the kick right in the centre. He'll put St Kilda well into attack. There's his drop kick, driving the ball up towards the right half forward flank where the mark has been claimed and allowed here to St Kilda, going to Ian Stewart. Stewart to take the mark for St Kilda. He's the winner of the Brownlow medal this year, former Tasmanian, a brilliant player. He's getting a lead further afield here from Baldock. Baldock's got it. It's knocked away from him. Is it going to be allowed? We'll wait and see. Yes, I think umpire Crouch will allow the mark to Baldock. Davis came very late on the scene to uh, try and punch the ball away, but uh, the mark has been allowed to Baldock. He'd be about 50 yards out, almost straight in front. Whether he'll get the distance or not, I don't know. He's kicking into the breeze. There's his shot at goal. He's well off line with the kick. He got the distance all right. Another behind to St Kilda. 5-11 now, 41 points. Essendon, 10-18-78. And this game slipping away from the Saints, endeavouring to win their first ever Victorian Football League Premiership. Here's Brick Brown, the Essendon fullback, kicking the ball off into play. A good drop kick. Looking for Shelton and company, almost marked by Davis, taken by McKenzie and kicked forward towards Gosper and Sinman. 
a uh, clash, the ball comes to the ground, picked up by Gosper, and there's the siren for three-quarter time, with Essendon 10-18-78, leading St Kilda 5-11-41 at three-quarter time. Essendon 10-18-78, leading St Kilda 5-11-41 at three-quarter time. Umpire Jeff Crouch about to bounce the ball to start the play in the final quarter of the VFL Grand Final for 1965. Essendon wearing the all black with the red sash and St Kilda wearing the white shorts. There's the bounce of the ball. And a ruck infringement favours St Kilda and will be taken by their giant follower Carl Dittich. He wastes no time, goes forward with an enormous drop kick towards full forward. Hal has the run of the ball, but it's taken away from him by Payne of Essendon. He's pushed away as he kicks the ball, and it goes across the line and out of bounds. Essendon 10 18 78, St Kilda 5 11 41. Verdon Hal once again at full forward. They've swung him from full forward to full back, and now he is back at full forward for St Kilda. There's Bert with the ball for um, Essendon. Grabbed Efforts comes in to back him up. That's Efforts with the ball now. Driving it towards the centre. Jack Clark sets himself for the mark with Griffiths. Neither could mark it out. It comes towards Blue. Blue immediately swings the ball way out onto the outer side of the ground. And there the ball beats Reed, number seven of St Kilda, over the line to be thrown in. No score in the final quarter, which has been in progress about a minute and a half. Ruckman vying for it there. Samson getting a tap straight down towards uh, Burt. Burt is interfered with and will get the free kick. John Burt, the Essendon Rover. He's had 20 kicks so far. Been a very damaging player, this fellow. There's his drop kick, a nice one, up onto the left half forward flank where Fraser flies for the ball, knocked away by Sinman, number nine, and out of play. This time the ball to be thrown in. By boundary umpire Green on Essendon's left half forward flank. Samson number 34 rucking magnificently getting the tap at Shark there by St Kilda though. Driven down towards the uh, wing position. Baldock goes for it there. Davis is in the thick of it. Couldn't break clear. In comes Reed with the ball now for St Kilda. Gets a hand pass across. Away go that St Kilda into attack. But the attack is broken up by Shelton. Shelton who was a very doubtful player for Essendon today because of a shoulder injury has come into the side and played a very solid game. There's his kick towards the centre of the ground and Jack Clark, who was very quiet in the first half, has really come into the game, was damaging in the third quarter in the centre. There's his kick driving the ball forward up onto Essendon's left half forward flank. There it goes over the line. Essendon, 10-18, 78 points and Kilda, 5-11, 41. Two and a half minutes of play have gone by in the last quarter. And from the boundary throw in, it looks like Burt picking up the ball, but no, it's kicked off the ground by Rollins. Dittrich goes in hard, overruns the ball. A lot of heavy bumping going on out there. Dittrich tries to break his way clear, can't uh, get clear. Burt eventually comes to the ball. Uh, it's picked up by Eppis. Eppis not very popular with the crowd, but his stab pass finds Johnson in at centre-half board for Essendon. Johnson goes on with play quickly, looking for Fordham. Fordham are trying to outreach Murray from behind. What's the umpire's decision? It's play on. There's a snapshot for goal by Essendon's Mitchell, and it's through for a behind only. Essendon 10, 19, 79. St Kilda 5, 11, 41. Three minutes of play in the last quarter. And Murray, the St Kilda fullback, to put the ball into play once again. There's his spiral punt kick towards the wing position. McMaster Smith gives away a free kick by running straight at Blue and not making any attempt to mark the ball. And Blue, the Essendon wingman, will take the free kick and drive Essendon into attack. He's given the lead by Fordham out towards the forward pocket. Murray is backing towards Fordham. Fordham claims the ball. It slips from his grasp. Egan is in there but can't control the ball. And it slips from his grasp across the line and out of bounds. Essendon in attack, full forward right. Four minutes of play gone in the first quarter. Here's the ball into play with uh, Samson knocking it down. He's been a damaging player in the ruck all day. Roland 26 comes in for some Kilda, tries to break clear, but the Essendon defenders are playing a close checking and won't allow the uh, St Kilda forwards to break away. Another throw in. There's Samson. The blonde there is Dittrich. Dittrich comes into the ball here. The whistle is gone. It's a free kick, I think, to uh, St Kilda. 
Rowland to take the free. He immediately drives the ball towards the centre of the ground. There's Kennedy setting himself for the mark. Not allowed. Payne comes in for Eslin, grabs the ball nicely, swings it over his left shoulder, up towards Sampson, who flies for it. It's knocked away. St Kilda come in here. There's a chance for uh, McMaster Smith to get it. He does so. Sends the ball down towards Cooper. He flies. He's been kept out of the game, though, by uh, Shelton. But in comes... Uh, Gerlach this time, the whistle's gone behind the play, and it'll be a free to St Kilda, Baldock, Baldock to take the free Darrell Baldock, the St Kilda captain to take the free kick has the ball on the member stand wing position there's his uh, drop kick up towards centre half forward, coming from behind with Shelton, couldn't mark the ball, it's picked up by Clark, Clark gets the ball towards Mitchell Mitchell, dummies nicely Gets a lead further afield from uh, Samson. Samson comes to the ball here, hand passes across. It's come out here where it's picked up nicely by Gosper. Gosper shoots for goal and it goes through. A goal to Essendon. No one at home, as you saw, for St Kilda. And that's the second goal kicked by Gosper for the Dons, and they go further ahead. Essendon moving on to 11 19. 85 points and Kilda 5-11-41 and we've had five minutes of play in the final quarter. 44 points the difference in Essendon's favour and the ball coming back into the centre to Jeff Crouch. Jeff Crouch in charge of his second Victorian grand final. There's the bounce of the ball. Mackenzie with a mighty punch lands the ball with Fraser almost at centre half forward. Picked up by Sinman of St Kilda. He transfers play out to the wing. Epis goes in hard. He's met solidly. The ball comes to ground. Picked up by Smith of St Kilda. He drives the ball out into the open spaces, but it's all Essendon. And the ball comes across the line and out of bounds. St Kilda making a change. McMaster Smith is coming off the ground towards the St Kilda bench. And his replacement, Kevin Roberts, is coming on. There you see them. Meanwhile, the ball has gone forward for Essendon towards their half-forward flank, and once again, it's out of bounds. Kevin Roberts on for St Kilda, replacing McMaster-Smith, so St Kilda have their full complement of reserves on the field. Six minutes of play have gone by. Fraser uh, takes the ruck duel, gets it to Burt. Burt is put down, but gets his kick. It looks to be all St Kilda. Sinman palms the ball over. It's taken nicely by Head, the back pocket player for St Kilda. Drives the ball towards uh, Stewart, but a magnificent mark taken by Davis. Pulled the ball in virtually one hand. And a good kick to go with it too. Lands the ball back towards centre half forward. All players overrun the ball. A chance for Sinman to go back to the ball again, but Blue has too much pace for him. The Essendon wingman sees a lead from Sampson in the pocket. Dittrich comes in. Bumps Sampson out of the way. The ball stays in play. Dittridge comes back onto it again, but a free kick has been given for an infringement, which uh, Dittridge gave away to Sampson, and it will be Sampson's free kick. Now, Sampson is well within range. However, the angle may be just a little acute for him. Sampson just getting his win back. Umpire Crouch whistles up and tells him to go on with play. Sampson is 50 yards out, his drop kick is covering the distance but it's offline, could be forced through, but there's a mark being claimed by Essendon Fordham it is, who's got the ball he's been allowed the mark has kicked five goals already and from an almost impossible angle, runs round snaps for goal and puts it behind Essendon 11-20 86, St Kilda 5, 11-41 and they've been playing eight minutes into the last quarter. Well, Essendon's greater experience is uh, very telling in the second half of the game. There's no, there's no doubt about that. They're also winning handsomely in the air. Their experience is there, and their half-back line is dominating, shutting the St Kilda half-back line right out of the game. And here's Murray putting the ball into play. Cooper flies for it, couldn't hold it, picked up there by McKenzie. McKenzie towards Fordham, and Fordham takes out another mark. What a magnificent player this chap has been for um, Essendon in the final series. Six goals last week against Collingwood. Here he is taking his 11th mark and having a chance to record his sixth goal. He's about 30 yards out. Almost straight in front, there's the shot for goal, and it's through for a six-pointer, another goal to Essendon. And I should say that has just about clinched it for the Bombers. Fordham, six goals so far, and Essendon move on to 12-20. 12-20, 92 points to St Kilda, 5-11-41. The Dons have dominated it since halftime.
Another bounce down in the centre. Mackenzie, another enormous punch, will land the ball almost in the forward pocket. It's picked up by St Kilda's back pocket play ahead and driven out onto the flank. And there's Kevin Roberts into the game for the first time for St Kilda. His drop kick is a good one, looking for Baldock at half forward. Baldock is up, has the ball punched away from him. Through comes Egan. He's grabbed too high and brought down, and it will be Egan's free kick. Egan being helped there by Mackenzie, 24, and Pryor, 21. Egan, who came on as a replacement for Essendon, now drives the ball towards centre half four, looking for Fraser. Fraser has the ball brushed away from him. It's picked up by Head of St Kilda. He drives the ball out onto the flank. Eppis is out there doing battle with Reed. Alec Eppis turns round onto his left foot, drives the ball with a good kick back in towards Fraser at half forward. Too many St Kilda players there, but they can't pull in the ball. It comes down to Smith. Smith drives the ball out onto the wing where he was given the lead by Griffiths, but the ball beats. Uh, rather Stewart across the line and Davis too and out of bounds Essendon 12 20 92 St Kilda 5 11 41 and we're 10 minutes into the final quarter there's Mackenzie tapping the ball it's gone straight to uh, Sarakowski of St Kilda he sends the ball forward chance here for St Kilda hand pass finds Smith Smith in turn to Stewart Stewart to box nicely drives the ball right up in front of goal where the mark is taken easily in defense here by Charlie Payne Payne the back pocket player for Essendon He's played a good solid game all day, this fellow. There's his kick towards the centre of the ground. Chance here for Davis. Davis has tackled, holds the ball. Umpire Crouch moves in and will bounce it. It's uh, on St Kilda's left half forward flank. Ruck set themselves for it. There's Neil grabbing the ball for St Kilda. Puts his boot to it, sends it forward. Not very far. It's picked up here by Roland. Roland has a long shot at goal. This could be a good one. We'll wait on it. It's a beauty. Straight through. Two goals to uh, Ian Rowland of uh, St Kilda, and that was a, a somewhat belated one, I feel, a badly needed one for the Saints. I, I think a lot of people will be saddened at the moment to find St Kilda so far behind in their bid for their first ever Premiership. There's the board, St Kilda now 6-11 to Essendon 12-20. That was Rowland's second goal. Another centre bounce sees Didrich win the tap down. It comes towards Mitchell. His kick is smothered. Pace uh, finds out for Jack Clark. Jack Clark is brought down, however, after he kicks the ball. It's taken by Sinman of St Kilda. Kicks the ball right across the ground towards the boundary line. Eppis is leading in the race to the ball. Picks it up nicely with one hand. And he's uh, rather dumped unceremoniously by Stewart after he got rid of the ball. A clash of players in the centre of the ground. It's picked up by Cooper. Cooper drives St Kilda forward towards centre half forward. Kennedy claims the mark and he's been allowed the mark almost at centre-half forward, Shelton making sure that he doesn't run off. Kennedy, a long drop kick looking for Howe. Howe has the ball punched away. Here's a chance for Baldock running into an open goal. He pops it through, and St Kilda have seven goals on the board. Baldock second, St Kilda seven goals, 11, 53, trailing Essendon, 12, 20, 92, 13 minutes of play gone in the last quarter, and there's Darrell Baldock, the St Kilda captain, closely attended by Jeff Pryor, the Essendon centre-half back. Well, a lot of people are probably asking themselves the question, can St Kilda pull the game out of the fire? Well, we've had about 30 minutes of play in the final term. They're still well behind. There's Dittrick going for the ball, keeps going for it, number 10. Dittrick uh, grabs it nicely, puts his boot to the ball, sends it forward. Out come Essendon in defence. There's Pryor spilling the mark, recovers well. Sends a hand pass, but it's snapped up here by Reeders and Kilda. He goes forward. There's his kick driving the ball into the forward pocket. And a beautiful mark taken by uh, Howe. Murray, is it? No, it's uh, Morton. Morton, who came on for St Kilda as a reserve. And there's uh, Morton right on the fringe of the boundary line. A very difficult shot. Well, a straight kick here will give St Kilda a lot of heart. There's his kick at goal. It was a pretty good attempt, just a wee bit offline. A very acute angle, that one. That single takes St Kilda on to 7-12. 7-12 to Essendon, 12-20, 92 points to 54. And we've had 14 minutes of play in the final quarter.
This is Greg Brown, the Essendon fullback, to kick out once again and put the ball into play. All long driving drop kick, looking for McKenzie. The ball punched away from that player, but McKenzie comes back onto it again. Goes in short to Mitchell. Mitchell is dragged off the ball, picked up by St Kilda, taken now by Griffiths. Griffiths drives the Saints forward. Here's Morton flying again. The ball comes to the ground. Baldock is brushed away from the ball, taken by Pryor of Essendon, and driven out to the flank where the mark is taken by Blue. Blue drives Essendon further forward once more, looking for a Gosper. The ball is punched away from that player, comes back into play to Mitchell. Good football by Essendon. The Dons going forward again, looking for Fordham in the pocket. Fordham is up high. It comes to Sampson. Sampson in trouble. Borks whips the hand pass to Fordham. Fordham runs in, slams away at goal, and puts another one on the ball. That's his seventh goal. And Essendon move on to 98. St Kilda 7 12 54 Essendon 13 20 98 and Fordham has seven goals on the board seven so far in this match to Ted Fordham six in the uh, preliminary final against Collingwood what a magnificent player by the uh, effort by the St the Essendon full forward. Now back on the centre, there's Reed with the ball for St Kilda, driving it down towards Kennedy. Shelton's going in, there's Baldock coming to the ball, number four also. Baldock gets a push in the back, and I think we'll get a free kick. We'll wait and see. Yes, Darrell Baldock nodding his head, said it's my ball, and he'll take the free within kicking range two. He'll be about um, 45 yards out the angle, about 45 degrees. The breeze is coming right behind him. All eyes on Baldock. Capacity crowd here, 100,000 people as he lines this one up. Up towards the goal, it's falling a little bit short. How flew high for the ball. It's knocked through, though. Another behind to St Kilda. St Kilda now 7-13, 55 points. Essendon, 13-20-98. Just looking at the clock on the scoreboard, we've had about 17 minutes of play in the final quarter. As Brown brings the ball into play once again. Another long drop kick looking for McKenzie and that, that player flying high through the pack to take a good mark for Essendon. McKenzie may have hurt himself as he came down after taking that mark, going back and taking plenty of time. Time, of course, is on Essendon's side. They hold a 43-point lead. McKenzie's kick is not a good one. Falls safely into the arms of Gosper on the centre wing for Essendon. Gosper drives the ball forward, high in the air. A big punch away from behind the pack by Cooper. Lands the ball out on the centre wing near Roberts. And Roberts finds the boundary line too close. 15 is Cooper. 31 Mitchell, 24 McKenzie. McKenzie's hand gets to the ball. It's picked up by Rowland for St Kilda. He runs into trouble, is brought down. Meantime, Burt picks up the ball. Kicks it in towards the forward pocket. Essendon going in hard there but the ball beats all players across the boundary line once more. Essendon 13, 20, 98. St Kilda 7, 13, 55. Boundary throw in, Dittrich up high. The ball comes down to Rowland. A quick kick drives the ball towards the centre of the ground where the wing position. Uh, Shelton claims the mark, goes on with play. A short pass looking for Johnson. Johnson is beaten to the ball by Serikovsky of St Kilda. He puts the ball up towards centre half forward. Mark almost brought down there. Howe comes out showing a lot of dash for St Kilda. Picked up by Gerlach in defence for Essendon. Driven wide to the flank where Johnson gives him the lead. Johnson comes to the ball. Bounces it ahead of him. Comes back and picks up the ball again. Paddles it on once more. Gets his kick eventually. Is dealt with after he kicks. And gives away a free kick further downfield to be taken by Sampson. Sampson's free kick for Essendon. 55 to 60 yards out from goal and Essendon 98 leads St Kilda 55 after 19 minutes in the last quarter. Sampson will put this ball right up towards the goal. There it is where Fordham goes for it's knocked away, comes out towards uh, Cross. Cross puts his boot to the ball. Chance here for Essendon through Blue. Blue gets hold of it. Will drive it right up towards the goal. There's Fraser letting the ball go right over his head and it goes through for a point to Essendon. Essendon now 13 21. 13 21, 99 points, and Kilda 7 13 55. And Essendon appear to have this grand final all sewn up with about nine minutes remaining for play. 
Here's the ball put into play. A beautiful kick out to the centre of the ground. Chance there for Russ Smith to get the ball. Couldn't do so. It's picked up here, though, by uh, Essendon. Sampson driving the ball forward. There's Dittrick flying high. Just failing to hold the mark. He uh, goes on with play, dashing downfield into the open spaces on the outer wing position. Gets a lead further afield here. The mark taken by uh, Reed, I think it is, or rather Kevin Roberts. He drives the ball forward, but it chips Gerlach to mark the ball and break up the attack. This is where St Kilda have broken down, across their half-forward line. There's a kick by Gerlach onto uh, Essendon's left half-forward flank. There's Burt knocking the ball on in front of him. Across of St Kilda comes in, picks up the ball. He's got a lead here, further afield. Mark very nearly taken there. In fact, the ball is gathered in by Darrell Griffiths. He gets a lead from Baldock, and Baldock takes the mark, immediately goes on with play, whips a hand pass forward. Here's the ball coming right up in front of goal. Brown is going for it. I think it's going to bounce through. Yes, it's a goal. Kevin Roberts it was who put that through for St Kilda. Nice piece of play from Bulldock, saw the lead and uh, Roberts with a long shot puts it through for St Kilda's eighth goal. And St Kilda move on to 8-13, 61 points to Essendon, 13-21-99. There's Kevin Roberts walking back to his position on the centre wing as Jeff Crouch bounces the ball once more. Up high is Sampson. His tap down doesn't go to anybody except Cooper. Cooper to Reed. Griffiths trying to pick up the ball. Jack Clark is in there. A kick off the ground. Lands the ball with Smith. He drives forward. Here's Baldock. A chance for Baldock to shoot for goal. He's offline with a left foot snap. And a behind only is the result. St Kilda 8-14-62. Essendon 13-21-99. 37 points the difference still. With Essendon leading. Good many of the huge crowd leaving the ground now, Dick. Yes, they're starting to stream away, Ken, as Brown kicks the ball off once more out towards Sampson. Umpire Crouch has seen interference, and the free kick will go to Kevin Roberts. Roberts of St Kilda now on the half-forward flank, looking for a lead further afield. None forthcoming. So he elects to kick, and what a magnificent kick it is too, right up into the teeth of goal. Pack flies high for the ball. St Kilda mark claimed, but Davis has hold of the ball. Umpire Crouch running in. What will be the decision? I think he'll call for a ball up. There's the bounce. Morton flies high. It goes off his hands and out of bounds for a boundary throw in. Essendon 13, 21, 99, leading St Kilda 8, 14, 62 after 22 and a half minutes in the last quarter. There's Samson going for the ball. No, there's the clock. And we've got about uh, eight minutes of play left before the close of this uh, grand final. Bordock with the ball. Umpire Crouch has uh, called for it. It must have been uh, an infringement somewhere. No, he's going to bounce the ball, brings it back. Here you see a number of players milling around there. They've got it bottled up in that forward pocket. Egan gets it, though, for Essendon. Drives the ball forward. Has come out onto the wing position. Chance here for St Kilda. They drive the ball forward again. Essendon are closing up the defence, though. But there's a beautiful mark uh, taken by Cooper of St Kilda. Cooper, in front of the pack, brings down a beautiful mark. He'd be about 30 yards out. Angle not very acute. And he should be able to put it through. There's the shot at goal. Oh, it's a tired kick, tired looking kick. It's hooked right around, and the mark is claimed here by uh, Essendon's Davis. Davis bringing down the mark for the Dons in their last line of defence. The Essendon defence right throughout the day has been magnificent, particularly their half back line. Here's the kick now by Davis up towards Shelton, number 10. Ball knocked away, picked up here by Gerlach. He breaks away from the pack. He's got a lead here further afield from Burt, but the pass is astray, and it goes straight into the safe arms of Roger Head, the back pocket player for St Kilda. Head from centre half back, looks for Cooper in the centre of the ground. He is pushed in the back and gets the free kick. Cooper of St Kilda goes on quickly with play, sees a lead further forward, but the kick falls short into the arms of Sampson, who takes a steadying mark. 24 minutes of play gone. Egan in the hands of the trainers on the, in the forward pocket. Meantime, the ball goes back to the centre of the ground, and the mark is taken by Griffiths of St Kilda. That's Egan 
who cramped rather badly after he took a kick some two minutes ago. Griffith's kick drives the ball back where a big pack of players gathers. Howell is up there, claims the mark. Howell's brought the ball to the ground. Umpire Crouch says it's Verdon Howell's mark. And Howell is 35 to 45 yards out. Almost directly in front. Moves in quickly to kick for goal. His kick is true. It's through the middle. Three goals to Howell. St Kilda have their ninth goal on the board. 9-14-68 eight to Essendon's 13 21 99 and they're almost into the time on period I uh, notice that Egan has gone off the ground he's down in the forward pocket there's weight number 27 coming on for Essendon Egan their rover has gone off he's in the hands of the trainer at the punt road end in the meantime back to the center there's the bounce again and Dittrich flies high attempts to hook the ball further forward but goes to Burt Burt out to Blue and Blue takes the mark Blue in the center of the ground for Essendon to drive the Dons further forward. A lovely drop kick towards center half forward and Fraser. Fraser is up in front of the back. The ball punched away from him, comes to the ground. Gosper is in there, picked up by St Kilda's cross, gets the ball to Serikovsky. Serikovsky towards the wing, and the mark is taken by Roberts of St Kilda. Roberts, a left foot kick, sees a lead further afield given by uh, Smith. But here's Davis chipping in from the half-back flank for Essendon to cut off yet another St Kilda drive forward. Davis kick lands the ball out on the centre wing. Mitchell is there. In comes uh, Smith, smothers the ball off Mitchell's boot and it goes out of bounds on Essendon's half-forward line. The official attendance today, 104,846. 104,846, the aggregate for the four final series matches, a record 388,460. Magnificent effort. Now here's Burt, picks up the ball, short passes in towards Fordham, comes back towards Burt, he's taken off the ball, it's picked up by Smith of St Kilda, his kick falls in short, and the mark is taken by Waite, the big fellow who came on as 20th man for Essendon. Now Waite is within scoring distance, he's about 45 yards out, angle of about 30 degrees and has a chance to register yet another score for Essendon. Favours the drop kick, covering plenty of distance. Won't get the required distance, however. The ball comes to the ground in the goal square, picked up by Smith. Smith goes for the boundary line. Uh, it bounces once inside the line and then decides to go across the line and out of bounds. Essendon about three minutes remaining for play in the 1965 grand final. Essendon 13 21 99, St Kilda 9 14 68. Boundary throw in, Dittrich against Waite. Dittrich marks the ball, he and Eppis tangle on the ground. Dittrich deals one out, Essendon Eppis wants more, and uh, umpire Crouch decides on a bounce. There's the bounce from Crouch. Dittrich goes in, gets his kick, however, he's given away a free kick and the free kick will be taken by Essendon's weight. Essendon 13-21-99, leading St Kilda 9-14-68 after 27 minutes in the final term. Here's weight, he'll put uh, Essendon well into attack, a magnificent drop kick right up in front of goal, and there's the big fellow Samson flying and bringing down the mark. Right in front of goal and about uh, 20 yards out. Straight kick here, and the Dons will have their 14th goal on the board. They've got this well sewn up with only a two minutes to go. There's the kick by Samson. It's true. Straight through the middle. Essendon now 14-21. 105 points. St Kilda 9-14-68. And that's Samson's second goal. And he's been a, a tremendous ruckman for Essendon in the final series. Played a magnificent game last Saturday against Collingwood. Was the dominating ruckman on the ground. And again today, he's been a tower of strength for the Dons. Whether rucking or spelling in the uh, forward zone. Back in the centre. There's the bounce. Dittrich flies high, but McKenzie punches the ball back towards Essendon's attacking zone. Taken by Serikovsky. Serikovsky and Eppis having a little to do behind the play. Meantime, the mark has been taken by Mitchell, it looks like, for Essendon at centre <laughs> half back. Mitchell drives the Dons forward into the centre of the ground. Griffiths comes in, tries to smother Clark. 
in there, a player is being held, it's Roland, and Roland takes the free kick for St Kilda in the centre of the ground with 29 minutes of play gone and Essendon leading 105 points to 68. There's the kick from Rollins towards centre half forward. Players fly high, nobody can bring it down, it comes to Stewart. Stewart's kick goes in towards the forward pocket, it bounces towards Howell and Payne comes back to be picked up by Kennedy. Kennedy trying to force his way through, has the ball go towards the ground, picked up by Ross Smith. He can't get clear, comes back to the ball again. It's kicked off the ground. A chance for Kevin Roberts doing battle out there with Blue. Baldock comes in to assist. Blue is caught with the ball, close to the boundary line. Umpire Crouch has blown the whistle. A free kick against the Essendon player Blue to be taken by Kevin Roberts in the forward pot. and killed the player this time on the ground. It could be Morton. Roberts kicks for goal. The line and behind only is the results and killed a 9, 15, 69. Essendon 14, 21, 105. Verdon Howell is the player coming off the ground and so St Kilda will finish the grand final with 17 men. Only... Uh about a minute remaining for play as Brown puts the ball into play. He's kicked in magnificently all day. This fellow, there's Dittrick flying high for the ball. Couldn't hold the mark. Prior, 21, trying to get hold of it. It's come into the open spaces. There's a chance here for Roland. He gets hold of the ball, dashes downfield with it. Has a shot at goal. It comes off the side of the boot. Baldock goes for it, one-handed. He's outnumbered there. It's backed up by Smith. Smith comes in, runs round. It's going to have a, an acute angle shot for goal. And I think he's put it through for a point only, yes? A point only to St Kilda in the dying stages of the game. St Kilda moving on now to 9, 16, 60 points. Essendon uh, 14, 21, 105. Essendon holding a 35-point advantage. Burton Howell coming around the fringe of the boundary line. Has been a magnificent player for St Kilda. Here, Brown, though, in the meantime, putting a ball into play out onto the right half forward flank. There, Charlie Payne gets hold of it for uh, Essendon, drives it close towards the boundary line where Gosper number six goes for it there with head. It beats them both over the line to be thrown in. Centre wing on the outer side of the ground. Any moment the siren should go to end this grand final between Essendon and St Kilda. The Don's much too good though. Much too good on the day. There's uh, the tap going to Burt. Burt picks up the ball, gets a lead further afield. Smothered though by St Kilda. Umpire Crouch has blown the whistle. I think he'll come in and bounce the ball on Essendon's left half forward play. Essendon 14-21, 105 points, St Kilda 9-16-70. Chance now for St Kilda to go forward, getting the ball up towards Cooper. There goes the siren, and it's all over. And there's a very happy-looking John Coleman with his back to us in the light coat the coach of Essendon and one of the greatest full forwards the uh, game has seen in Victoria. And don't they look a happy bunch, the Essendon uh, bench with John Coleman being congratulated all round. Alan Jeans, there he is, the St Kilda coach, moving along uh, to congratulate John Coleman. Well, let's have a look at the final scoreboard. Essendon 14 21, 105 points, St Kilda 9 16 70. As we return, New South Wales and Canberra viewers to their studios at Gore Hill. <laughs>